Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. I hope you guys are having a good Sunday. I'm going to wait until you guys say hi to me so I can make sure you can see me. I'm always nervous about the YouTube streaming thing. Hey, okay, good. All right, you can see me. Okay, so I'm going to start the stream off today by uh, telling you guys a little story about what happened to me this morning and giving you a warning about today's stream. So I woke up at 730 this morning about... How, how long ago was that? Two and a half hours ago? In excruciating pain. Because I do believe that I have a kidney stone. So I was crying and screaming and Mr. Pleasant was about to take me to the hospital. And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not going to the hospital. I'm just going to deal with this. I'm just going to pass it. So I took a like a really long bath. I took a bunch of ibuprofen and I drank like a gallon of freaking water and then I started to feel better I was like I don't want to cancel the stream but I was gonna cancel the stream but anyway I feel okay now um I did take a I had some pain medicine left over from my dental surgery so I took one of those so let me just warn you guys <laughs> I'm getting a little I'm gonna be a little bit loopy today okay we're gonna have a drugged stream <laughs> <laughs> so get ready for the chillest stream you ever had anyway i am feeling better i i have had kidney stones multiple times in my life i don't know why i'm one of those people that i'm prone to getting them especially if i drink a lot of coffee i'm not supposed to be drinking caffeine a lot i've been drinking a lot more caffeine lately and i think that's probably what did it um so i know exactly what it feels like and i know that's what it is but and it's still in there <laughs> I know this is I'm sorry if this is too much information but I needed to tell you guys so I can warn you if I get if I start feeling pain again I might have to stop the stream but I hope that the pain medicine will hold up for the three hours <laughs> I know this is not what they meant so the pain pill I took is not very strong but it just makes me a little a little dizzy so I'm gonna be real chill <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's fine i know exactly what it is and i know but if it comes back or if I, it gets like really painful i will go to the hospital but i'm trying to deal with it on my own without having to do that and i'm trying to do the stream so i right now i don't feel any pain so i'm feeling good so we're gonna go ahead and proceed but i will let you guys know if anything changes i just wanted to warn you ahead ahead of time so i'm drinking coffee as i just said i shouldn't drink any coffee but it makes the uh, pain medicine work better. So I'm just gonna have a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I have a very strong work, work ethic. I will work through anything. <laughs> okay, so what we're actually gonna be doing in the stream today is playing Athena the mayor. And I'm so excited guys. I've been dying to play her ever since we created her and like sort of came up with a story for her. I gotta pause that, I was watching myself. Thanks guys, I appreciate that. <laughs> yes, that what I had was my, um, what are they called? Um, hydrocodone or something like that. I had a couple of those left over for my dental surgery because I don't like to take them. But I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and take one so I can get through this. Hopefully I pass this thing. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry Hendrick, I'm glad you caught it. I'm glad you caught that, okay. Yes, I have drank a bunch of water this morning and I think that's what, I think that like got flushed it out of my kidney, but it hasn't flushed out of my body yet, if you know what I'm saying. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I know that's gross. <laughs> but I'm drinking a lot of water this morning. I don't like taking pain medicine, but if, it, if I have to, I will. And today I had to, so, okay. <laughs> so let's get to the stream and I'll keep you guys updated if I start feeling bad or anything. All right, so we are going to play Mayor Athena, like I said, so I spent last night building a new city hall. I am not 100% sure if I'm happy with it, but I'll go ahead and show it to you guys now. Um, I thought about keeping the city hall from Plastic Box because it is so good. It, she did a really great job on building that city hall, but I wanted something that was more like tailored to my specific neighborhood and kind of matched my buildings and stuff better. So I thought I'm just going to build it myself. And I'll show you guys what I've done. It's not finished yet. 
Um, I still need to do some work on the roof and stuff. I'm not 100% sure that I love what I did with the roof. But anyway, <laughs> I'll show you what I've done. And so here it is so far. I wanted it to look very much like a, like a small town city hall. You know what I mean? So I put these parking lots in the front. Here's the, the entrance to it. I've got these columns. And the reason why I have these like dormers on the roof is because I have this part back here. So in the back, this is the police station. Oh my God, it's lagging. Um, this is the police station in the back. So if you want to go to the police station, you got to go in through the back, although you can get in through the courthouse too. So this is the back part and I want to find some kind of police sign that I can put up. And so far I haven't found one that I like, but I would really like to put a sign right here that says like police in Simlish or something. So if anybody knows of any sign like that, let me know. Let me know. I do have one police sign, but I didn't think it looked very good. I mean, it's the sign is good. I just didn't think it looked good on my building, if that makes sense. I'll show it to you guys. It's the one that's like a, it's like a British police sign. So it didn't really match. Oh no, now my thing is fr frozen. It's quaint. Yeah, that's how I, yes, there is a jail. I'm going to show you the jail. So the jail and everything is going to be all in the, in the, uh, in the, in the city hall. I keep calling it courthouse. I guess it's a courthouse. Uh, where is my... Oh, I don't know where the heck that sign is. But anyway, I also have these, but I didn't think they looked really that good outside. And I have this sign. Right? So this one is nice, but I just, I don't know where to put it. I guess we could kind of put it like over here. I don't know. I couldn't figure out anywhere that I thought it looked good. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'll have to think about what I want to do about the sign. Um, so inside, I'll show you guys what I did inside. So the top floor over here, this is the jail. So we have five jail cells for Edgewood. I don't think we're ever going to have five people in jail at the same time, but just to fill up the space, I put five jail cells and they have a bed, a toilet, and a shelf. That's all you get when you're in jail. <laughs> I've got some showers back here for the prisoners to use. And then up here, I have like uh, like the check-in points where you bring the prisoners up and you got to process them right here and then you bring them back to the cell. And then, so downstairs, this is the second floor of the jail. I have like a little kitchen where whoever the jailer is can prepare food for the prisoners. We should lock up Brian so he doesn't spread his genetics, yeah. <laughs> and so yeah, I have this little kitchen area and then I have uh, the bathrooms. This is for like the people who work at the jail to use. And then I have a couple of desks here. What the heck is that? Oh, I got the air conditioner inside the building. Oops, oops. There we go. <laughs> and I got this sign too, look the police sign. I really like that. Um, so I wanted the jail to be kind of shabby because it's a jail, right? So I have like these distressed floorboards and brick walls and everything. And this is like where people can come in here. The public can come in here. If they need anything from the police, they can come in here and talk to somebody. Okay, so then that's the jail side. So then when you come in to the city hall over here, you're greeted with a reception desk. And that's pretty much all I have in here. And then over here is the like little courtroom. So I didn't make it very big because Edgewood is a very small town. So I don't think we're going to have any huge court proceedings or anything. <laughs> but I have just a little uh, courtroom here with maybe the judge can sit here and maybe a place for a, an attorney and some seating, maybe for a jury or something. I don't know. I just try to make it like this. And then over here we have, this could either be like a jury deliberation room or like a meeting room or something like that. Conference room. So I thought that was good enough for a little our little justice system. And then upstairs, um, I have the offices. So this will be uh, Athena's office over here. She has the biggest office because she's the mayor. So this is where she is going to go to work. And then over here, I have another office that I thought maybe for like whoever works in the law career. Like if we have a judge or a an attorney, they should have an office here too. So I have a second office. 
yes, we do have a policeman, yes. And he will work here. He will work here. He will work over in the jail side. So this will probably be his little office area right here. And then I have, uh, these are the public bathrooms and also the bathrooms for the staff to use. And then I also have like a little cafeteria. So whoever's at work here can come and eat and take a break. And that's it. That's pretty much all I did. I got, I have the police cars back here and everything. And then, like I said, I still need to do the roof. I still need to work on the roof trim, but that's gonna be, that's the basic basis of our city hall so far. Yeah, Bruno will work in here. Mm -hmm. Bruno and Athena right now are, will be the only employees here. Um, we don't really have anybody in the law career yet, but once we do, they will also work here. Okay. Oh, I think I got something in my coffee there. Thank you. I tried my best. I tried my best here. I looked up a bunch of pictures of like city halls and stuff. I don't think I changed anything, but I'll save it anyway. To try to get an idea of how I wanted it, but I also wanted it to be very small. So anyway, that's what we're working with for now. <laughs> so let's go back out into the neighborhood. I'm going to show you Athena's house and we're going to get her moved in, start playing her. Now, I after I built that yesterday, I was not in the mood to build anymore. I was like, I'm done. So Athena's house is not really furnished. It's got some basic furnishings in it. So we might do that towards the end of the stream. If uh, we play through her rounds, then we can go back in and do some decorating and stuff. So her house is the Green Tea Mansion uh, by Honeywell. So I know you, a lot of you guys have probably seen this before. It's a, a gorgeous house. And I put it over here in the, this is gonna be the wealthy part of the neighborhood. So the really rich people are gonna live over here right by the ocean. They're gonna have a nice ocean view. Okay, so. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and move Athena out. She lives right here and this was our old mayor's mansion. So I'm just gonna move her out of here. Uh, what do I wanna do? I wanna move you out. Oh, I gotta do it here. Move family. I don't think she has anything in there that we need. And then we're gonna move her right in here. Now I can't remember how much money she's supposed to have but I'm not gonna set her money until I finish decorating her house anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh yes, I would love to see uh, your renovations of this house, Marta. <laughs> All your houses look the same. <laughs> yeah, I like to. I like the style of the the houses that Honeywell builds, the bespoke lots. So I'm trying to upgrade everything in in edgewood to match that we can totally get a pleasant street that's a great idea olia i know athena needs to get pregante i turned off unmarried try for baby y'all i turned it off because all of our sims were just immediately trying for baby and i just felt that was really unrealistic you know so we did get we have we do have several babies already <laughs> in the neighborhood we have rudolph little rudolph shelly we have little Heath Shelly. <laughs> we got two Shellys. <laughs> and we have a little Ivory Wheeler. So we have two little boys and a little girl so far. And we've played one, two, three, four, five. This is our sixth household. Now I am hoping that uh, Athena here does have a baby because she is not keeping the baby. Like we've already decided if she has a baby, she is not keeping it. It's gonna be an, a love child that she is gonna sneak away to the orphanage. Nobody's gonna know that it was her baby. We're gonna try to make this like a little scandal. <laughs> and we need a baby in the orphanage for our families who want to adopt or who need to adopt. I wanna see how corrupt she is too, I do. Just look at this beautiful house. I think this is my favorite one of uh, Honeywell's houses. It's so lovely. And it's the biggest, most expensive house that Athena gets. Oh, look, she wants to woohoo. <laughs> so it's the biggest, most expensive house. And if you're not familiar with it, it's pretty much exactly as it comes right now. I just left, like, there's nothing in here. There's nothing at all in here. So this is going to be her bedroom. Um, and then downstairs, it's just, this is, it's just very sparsely furnished, but that's okay. We're just going to play it. And then after we play, we can decorate if we have time. I did also buy her a car. I bought her the most expensive car in the game because she would totally have the most expensive car. <laughs> I love the green siding too. 
It is such an awesome house. I mean, it really is. It really is. It makes my builds look like crap. I'm like, oh man, I wish I could build that well. <laughs> oh, you use that for Dawn and Cassandra? Ooh, that'd make a good house for them, I think. Athena and Anthony love child. I can see it happening. I can see it happening. So the first thing we need to do, so she's already em employed as the mayor. She makes 865 simoleons a day. So we're going to imagine when she goes off to work, we're going to imagine that she's actually going to the city hall. Even though she's not really, we can imagine that. Um, who's to say? Who's to say where she goes when she goes off the lot to go to work? But some days we might actually have to take her to the city hall, like if she needs to... I don't know, do something with the taxes or something. We'll try to take her over there from time to time so we can feel more like she's working at City Hall. But today, let's see, what are her working hours? 10 to 4. So I do believe she's going to have to go to work today. We need to set her skills. Okay, what skills do you need for Mayor Level 10? Okay, that's what we have to find out. Let me see. Sims 2, Mayor Level 10... Let's see, politics. Um, that's the Sims. Don't play a stupid ad on me, Sims Wiki. Okay, Sims 2, Mayor Level 10. In order to get that position, why can I not scroll over? Okay, come here, come here. You need to have Charisma Level 10, Logic Level 10, Wait, wait, come back. Where'd it go? Oh, and creativity level seven. So we are going to set her skills to that. That's what her skills are. <laughs> Charisma, uh, logic, and creativity. All right. So we need a sim blender. We need a sim blender. We're also going to have to send her around to the shops um, so she can get some groceries and stuff. I'm just going to put this here in her living room. She's moved in, but she has, okay, she has, she's moved in, but she hasn't been able to hire an interior decorator yet. So she's just living here with the absolute basics for the moment. So we're going to set her skills to, oh, I have to do it one at a, oh, no, never mind. I can do it like this. I always forget I can do this. Okay, Charisma 10. What was the other one? Logic 10. Man, she is shrewd. She is shrewd and manipulative. And then I think we needed creativity seven. Okay. <laughs> no, she's not gonna learn all those skills because she's already in this position. I feel like she was recruited to come to Edgewood and be the mayor because she already had all these skills and also her age, which I did not set, oops. She's 35 right now. So we will be playing her of the ages 35, she's going to be 36, 37, 38, 39. I think 35 through 39 is what we're going to be playing her. Or maybe 40. What we're going to be playing her ages. Okay. All right. So, I guess we're ready to go, guys. Oh, let's look at her relationships. Oh, my God. She's got three bolts with Brian Shelley. <laughs> We don't need any more of Brian Shelley's jeans. We've got enough, Brian. We've got enough. <laughs> <laughs> and she's also got three bowls with Royce Wheeler, which we already have a baby by him, too. <laughs> so those are, that's it. That's it. She's going to end up having a Brian Shelley baby. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> okay, so what does she want to do? Charisma one. Okay, I think that's going to get satisfied. No, it didn't. Let me see if I can satisfy that. Oops. If I can satisfy that want for her since she already does have charisma level one. There we go. She wants new clothes and she wants a mirror and a bookcase. Okay, let's buy her a mirror and a bookcase real quick. She is a romance sim. And did we give her a secondary aspiration? Yes, her secondary aspiration is fortune. So she's really going to be something. <laughs> Lock up, Brian. He needs to go to jail. Okay, so we're going to buy her a mirror. Um, I don't know. We'll put it, I guess we'll put it up in her bedroom. I like that she's wanting to buy things so we can just sort of start getting stuff. 
Let's see, what kind of mirror do you want? An expensive one. I'm sure she wants an expensive mirror. 1400 simoleons? Oh, that mirror is huge. Okay, maybe not that one. Maybe not that one. We'll get her this one. And then what else did she want? A bookcase. Okay, we'll put a bookshelf downstairs. I definitely think she would have a bookshelf, so that's fine. And then she wants to meet someone new, so I think we're going to send her out. Oh, she's going to have to go to work in like an hour, though. We might have to wait till she gets home. Let's see. Bookshelf. Bookshelf. Let's get you a fancy pants bookshelf, too. How about this one? Renaissance bookshelf. That's fine. I'm not going to worry about what color it is right now. Okay, perfect. Oh, and let me put the walls down, too, so we can see what's going on here. <laughs> yes, it's time to visit Nora, Nora's boots and pants. I agree. But I think she's going to have to go to work. Let's see. Let's speed it up till 9 o'clock. No. Yes. Oh, the helicopter's coming for her. <laughs> She's the only sim in town that gets a ride to work in a helicopter. I guess I should have put a helipad on, at the city hall, huh? I don't know where it's going to drop her off. I guess on the street. The helicopter just lands in the street. <laughs> ah, crap. I forgot to ban everybody. So we've got Dorothy Stewart here, our paper delivery person. I guess I'm just going to let Dorothy Stewart be. I guess she comes from SimCity to deliver the papers. I don't know. I don't know. But I want to get a visitor controller here and let's ban Melba before Melba shows up. Um, I know you're I know you're just itching to show up, Melba. <laughs> let's see. Ban NPC, ban Garden Club Lady, ban Matchmaker. And I'm not gonna ban the uh, mail delivery person yet. I'm just going to go ahead and let them deliver the mail and then eventually someday I need to go in and give them plastic surgery so that they look like Aaron. Okay. It slices through people's homes. <laughs> I'm hoping for another baby too. And Athena does want to woohoo. She also wants to meet someone new. She wants to entertain, so I think she's going to be in the mood to invite somebody over. And unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be Brian Shelley. <laughs> He's going to be so broke, y'all. He's going to have to pay so much child support. He's going to be paying every woman in town 200 simoleons. <laughs> oh, we got, okay, we got a chance card. With current real estate prices as high as they are, a dollar an acre is highway robbery, but the construction of an international seaport... We create a lot of new jobs in Sim City. Should Athena accept the offer? I'm gonna, I'm, oh man, I don't know what to do. Should I ignore it? I'm thinking about ignoring it because I don't want her to lose her position as mayor. Then we're just gonna have to promote her again. I'm gonna ignore her chance cards. I know she could have got a lot of money from that, but I'm worried she's she would have gotten fired. And that just won't work for her story. Hey, there goes Dr. Hickey. I know all the babies are going to be siblings. <laughs> Everybody's going to be related because of Brian. Well, we have one baby that's not now. We have a Wheeler baby now. <laughs> okay, Olya. Okay, she's back home now, guys. So we can start. We can start whatever we're doing. I want to. I need to write down all the money that she earns. So how much is she getting today? Eight fifty-six. 865. Um, that way when I set her money back, um, she can have what she actually earned. Okay, she wants to buy a bird cage. Ooh, she wants to ask a sim on a date. Hello, Dr. Hickey. <laughs> Why do you keep walking by? I think we're gonna ask Brian on a date, y'all. She doesn't want to meet anyone new anymore. She just wants to ask a sim on a date and woohoo. So, hmm. What should I do? What should I do? Yeah, I think that chance card could get you fired. I think it either gets you fired or like 50,000 simoleons or something. <sighs> I guess it's Brian. I really hate it, guys. I really hate it, but it's what's happening. <laughs> it's what's happening here. So we're going to have her go in. What's she doing? 
Oh, she's serving lunch. Okay, let me let her get some lunch. Let's let her get some lunch. She probably needs to go get some groceries at some point. You've always gotten the 50K? I've gotten fired before. Well, she doesn't want to buy clothes anymore. She want to do anything that we... Well, she could go buy a bird cage. We could go to the pet store, see if she met, meets anybody over there. I think she could I think she could have a bird. What is her hobby? I don't even know what her hobby is. She likes blonde hair. That's why she likes Brian. What is her hobby? Let me see. Um oh, painting is her hobby. Painting is her hobby. You don't need a bird cage. Your hobby is painting. I guess we do need to get her an easel though so she can practice her painting. Let's see. She likes to paint in her spare time. I like that hobby for her. Let's get her an easel and we'll put it, I don't know where to put it. We'll put it upstairs. We'll make this like a little painting area for her. Okay, there we go. I feel like I still have like so much to do in Edgewood, but it's it's been so much fun. I'm glad I didn't wait to finish everything to start playing, you know? We got all the Sims created, and I'm like, that's good enough. We can go ahead and play, and I'll just work on it slowly over the years. <laughs> she can paint a bird. That's right, Hendrick. <laughs> here's my bird, and here's my bed. <laughs> okay, I got to be careful with the coffee. I don't want to drink too much coffee. All right, hurry up with your sandwiches. We're ready for some drama in here, Athena. She's gonna have to change out. Oh, she, I forgot she's fat too, isn't she? I'm pretty sure she's fat. Well, she sims too fat, which isn't really that fat. <laughs> okay, put these away and then we're, no, no, no. I know you wanna paint, but you wanna date more. <laughs> so we're gonna call up Brian Shelley. I tell you, he's gonna father so many babies and we're gonna ask him on a date, but he, he's the only one she knows right now. Oh no, he has red hair. I thought he had blonde hair. He has red hair. That I don't know why she likes him so much. Maybe because he's a romance sim too. I definitely see her having an affair with him though. Um, Let's just do it at home. Let's do it at home. Now she wants to buy a painting costing a thousand simoleons. Well, let's get her a painting then while she waits. Let's get her a painting. She could use some decor in here for real. Um, let's see. Worth a thousand simoleons. I need to put light switches and everything in here too. Ooh, I don't think I put light switches in the city hall either. Okay, 1800, 900, 900. Come on, give me a thousand. Oh shit, we can buy Bella Squared. <laughs> I think I have some recolors of that. Yeah, none of those suit her. This suits her. That suits her, I think. There you go. There's a nice piece of art for you. We'll start decorating her house a little bit as we go. Her personality is... She is a Libra, so she's very outgoing. She's very sloppy. She's a little on the lazy side. And she's a little bit more nice than grouchy. And she's about halfway between serious and playful. Okay, her date has arrived, so here we go. Hey, this is gonna be this is gonna fulfill a wish for Brian too, because he wants to woohoo with three different Sims, and Athena's gonna be his number three. So that's gonna fulfill a want for him as well. Okay, let what let's see what they're doing. She's gonna go greet him. Oh no, we don't have an ACR adjuster. Hold on, hold on. We gotta spawn the ACR adjuster. I forgot. And let's change this to an orchid. Okay, and let's put this... I guess we'll put this up in her bedroom. She doesn't even have a nightstand. It's so sad. Where did it go? There we go. <laughs> a match made in heaven. He's scared of marrying her. Don't worry. She's not interested in marrying. And she's scared of marrying him. Okay, guys, don't worry. I'm not going to have you get married. This is just an affair. This is just... They only want one thing from each other, and that's woohoo. <laughs> oh, hey, there went Aaron. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so they're gonna greet, and then let's see. Play, dance. Okay, we gotta get the sexy tickles out of the way. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna have them tickle, but they had other ideas. Okay, well, they're going to do a casual, a casual, you know. Oh, I'm, I'm just gonna look over here. We can look at the beautiful view. <laughs> and let's keep an eye on what they're doing. I know everybody's gonna be a Brian Shelley baby. Everybody's gonna have his blood. I never thought Brian would be the one spreading it around town. Hey, they're just doing a cuddle right now. It's getting dark outside. It's getting dark outside. And now they're doing a peck. They're doing a peck. <laughs> Brian would, I know. Oh, wait. <laughs> Okay, they're just doing a regular woohoo because I have the try for baby turned off. So that she could still get pregnant from Risky, but right now it's just regular, regular, regular old unprotected woohoo. <laughs> and she just got a crush on him. She's like, oh, I like that. I like you, Brian. I like you. <laughs> He's going to be her boy toy now. <laughs> like how you can hear the sounds. Woo! <laughs> and then I don't know if she's gonna have an end up having an affair with the driver Royce. I could totally see that happening. He's driving her all around town. Get he's starting to flirt with her and stuff. She invites him over for a drink. I could see it happening, but I kind of hope it doesn't because Royce is currently involved with Aaron. And I don't want to hurt Aaron. But Athena doesn't care. She'll hurt anybody to get what she wants. Okay, she wants to have a dream date with Brian. Sounds like they're decent again. So we can come back over here. <laughs> okay, what does he want to do? Oh, no, oh, that fulfilled his want. Now he wants to woohoo with five different sims. Um, Play with Athena. Talk to Athena. Okay, so time for tickles. Time for tickles. He does has, have his hands full. I don't know if he flies the helicopter. I don't know. Get back rub. Um, maybe, maybe we should make sure he does fly the helicopter. He's got multiple talents. <laughs> he drives, he flies. <laughs> Aw, hey, Trelicia, glad you could make it. Yeah, he's hoping for some tax deductions, exactly. He's like, come on, give me a break. I got child support to pay. What does she want to do? Entertain and talk. Okay, let's do some smooth talk. Let's do some smooth talk on him. Have this rose, Brian. And I want to look at her needs, too. It's, it's hard to tell if they got pregnant while they're on the date. I think you usually have to wait till afterward. Yeah, he would totally use her for money, and she would use him for the woohoo. Give back rub to Brian, entertain Brian. So let's tell him a dirty joke, see how he likes it. I mean, he's not going to turn down the opportunity to woohoo with the mayor, right? He's like, oh yeah, honey. <laughs> yeah, how about we talk for the first time after we woohooed? <laughs> and, oh, now she wants to woohoo with three different sims. Yes, I'm locking that one in. Slow dance. She wants to do a bunch of stupid crap. Get back rub. Okay, let's get... He really loves getting the back rubs. He really loves those back rubs. They're having a dream date now, but I'm going to let it go on for a little bit longer. Oh, he wants to make out with her now. Maybe we can get them to want to woohoo without ACR. You know what I mean? Like, just the natural progression. Let's do... Oh, we can't make out yet. Let's do a smooch. Yes, she got with Brian already. <laughs> He's already over here dipping his toes in the water. <laughs> Wait, what do you want to do now? Oh, make out. Make out. Okay, so let's do... Uh, oh, yeah, we can make out now. There we go. Now let's see what he rolls. Oh, he wants to woohoo in bed. All right. All right. So we're going to do... We're going to go through the casual menu, of course. And we're going to do a woohoo in bed. And I also want to check Athena's stats. 
And just look. Um, let's see. Try for baby percentage is 70%. And she prefers males. Risky odds, 20%, 1,400 out of 10,000. She currently has the hots for Brian Shelley. Oops. I'm trying, not, I'm trying to keep it a little bit more PG after a couple of my videos got age restricted, so I'm trying to be more careful about the woohoo. <laughs> yeah. Yep. She is. I, I really want her to have a baby, though, so that's why I was kind of like letting the date go. And take the natural, the natural path to woohoo. <laughs> because after that, I don't. They won't auto woohoo again. So I guess after tonight's date, she's gonna go to work tomorrow, and then she's gonna have to find somebody else to woohoo because she's already thinking about the next guy. <laughs> There's probably no way she won't get pregnant at least. Yes, it is, Christina, apparently. Apparently somebody thinks so. <laughs> it's just too, it's just too extreme. <laughs> All those pixels. Some people can't handle it, I guess. Okay, they're doing a make out. Or at least they were. Oh, there they go. Casual woohoo, okay. Come on. There we go. I guess that didn't take too long. Um, hug, get back rub, be flirted with. Let's see. Oh, 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 okay. There we go. <laughs> I think they both had a good time. So what's he going to do now? Oh, leap into arms. <laughs> I love Athena too. She's really something. Also, she's going to get some, a little bit of plastic surgery because she wants her eyes to be a little bit bigger and her nose to be a little bit smaller. Or not necessarily smaller, but just like further away from her mouth. <laughs> so <laughs> she is going to be getting... What are you doing? Oh, hang out? You're going to hang out? Really? Really? Hang out? So she is going to be getting plastic surgery from Dr. Hickey and we need to think of like a price list for plastic surgery. What I was thinking of doing is, depending on what the sim wants to get done, we'll charge a certain price. Like, say they just want to get their lips done, that would be 500 simoleons. If they want to get their nose done, 750 or something like that. Just to come up with a price list for plastic surgery. And I don't really do it very often on my sims. But if I have a romance sim that I don't quite like the way they look and they are also rich, I will give them plastic surgery. That's just pretty much how I choose. Since they can't really say that they want it. I don't know if it's the sounds. I don't know what it is. They don't tell you what it is. I just say they're wrestling. They're wrestling. <laughs> That's what people say in the South. Wrestling. <laughs> they talk with the bed in between. Oh, hello. Hello, Lucy Goosey. <laughs> Give him a kiss. Give me a kiss. There we go. Make out. Let's do another make out, I guess. They're probably going to end up wanting to woohoo again. We've got a minute and 30 seconds left of the date. So as long as her needs are okay, I'm just going to let them keep going at it. See if they want to woohoo anymore. Back rub and hug. <clears throat> Back rub. We are definitely not proposing anything. She does not want to propose anything. Look, they're just making out right in front of the window. Anybody walking by can see what's going on in here. Athena, we need to get you some curtains, girl. <laughs> I know, I gotta drink less coffee. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move my straw away and get my water over here. I know, they are... YouTube... They get... They have, you know, these automatic flags and they don't always work. They usually don't work. <laughs> so if your video gets flagged, and sometimes there's nothing you can do about it. But for the most part, most of my videos are are okay. But I've had several demonetized and I've had now I've had some age restricted. And the only thing I can think of is that it's the woohoo. They want a woohoo in the car? Seriously? Oh no, now they just want a regular woohoo. 
Okay, you're not gonna make it to the car, so let's just see if we can get one more woohoo in three times in one day. Man, these romance sims, I tell you what. <laughs> That's a lot of woohoo in one day. Okay, we're just gonna go for the bed, and I'm gonna go downstairs. We'll look around. We'll find a nice view. <laughs> she has to be Pregante. I hope she is. I didn't necessarily want her to have a Brian Shelley baby, but we'll take what we can get. We need, an, we need a baby for the orphanage before we get around to the next round. And Athena, and we have Athena and Paige are pretty much the only two Sims who could give us orphanage babies. Athena's not keeping any of her babies because that's just, that's just her. She doesn't want, to, want any kids. <laughs> and, but Paige, Paige could either keep or give up her baby. It's going to depend. And we'll have to roll and see. But there are only two female romance Sims right now. <laughs> I know. We're shocked that she got pregnant. <laughs> okay, they're doing a casual woohoo. Come on, guys. Speed it up. Speed it up. Okay, the date's over. Now that's what I'm talking about. What a fantastic... Oh my god, that's an apple tree? Oh jeez, I think we need to get rid of the apple tree because I don't think she's going to take care of these apple trees. <laughs> I think we're going to have to get rid of those. Or maybe hire a gardener. Okay, so the date's over. I think he's going to leave now. It's 3.40 a.m.? Holy crap! When did it get... <laughs> when did it get so late? She needs to go get some food and go to bed. Um, the reason why I'm going to feed her now is because if she did get Pregante, we have to take care of these needs. And if uh, she had a dream date and her... I think she is pregnant, y'all. I do. Because she had a dream date and her needs are still this low. You know what I'm saying? I think she is. I know they're both terrified of getting engaged to each other. Don't worry. Don't worry, Athena. Um, she's wor She doesn't want to lose him as a friend, but she certainly doesn't want to marry him. She's got to be. Yeah, she's going to hire a gardener and a maid and everything. Like, she's going to have all the services. We'll probably do that in the morning. She would not be doing any of that grunt work herself. Oh, yeah, Jordan. Brian's already woohooed the mayor. <laughs> Three times, mind you. <laughs> I hope Babby is formed. Okay, she's going to take a shower. Yeah, and that didn't fill up her. She's going to have to have another sandwich, too. Oh, man, she's going to have a rough day. She's going to have a rough day. She's going to have to go. She's not going to get any sleep. We have to keep We have to keep her fed, though. Okay, there you go. Now, let's go use the bathroom and try to lay down for a little while. I don't know. We might have to keep her home from work today. She's going to be like, guys, I can't come to the city hall today. I had a late night, okay? <laughs> she was up working all night. I hope there's a baby on the way. I hope so. I hope so. We need more babies. we got to populate this world. We've got to populate this world. We've got 22, 23, 24. We have 25 sims in our world now. Oh, she's gonna get a little bit of sleep. We'll see how she how she feels. The carpool will arrive in one hour. Okay, I guess I'm gonna let her go to work today. Come on, get up. Because she she did get quite a bit of sleep there. She does. She has a good bed. She has a good that's one of the expensive beds, I believe. No, we have one baby that's not related. We have the uh, Royce Wheeler's baby. Royce and Aaron had a baby. So we have two Brian Shelley babies. We have Rudolph and Heath. But then we have little Ivory Wheeler um, that was born that was born to Aaron and Royce. Yeah, this will be his thir third kid. Yeah, this will be Brian's third kid. <laughs> So, three out of our four children will be related if she is pregnant. Which I'm not 100% sure if she is, although it kind of looks like she is to me. We'll have to wait and see. She's got bills due. Oh, there's Anna. Hello, Anna. Yeah, so it would have actually been his fourth kid, but yeah. Oh, no, I forgot. He did. He's got another kid on the way. 
how you went to Twitch. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm going to do about, about that. Because we had that unmarried try for baby on. I don't know. Briathena. <laughs> oh, Briathena. Okay, she's home. She got another 865. So let me put that... Um, let me put that in the spreadsheet so I can remember how much she's earned so far. She wants to woohoo and go on a date again. <laughs> okay, well, never. We don't need skill points. She's already at level ten. We don't need skill points. We need woohoos. Actually, I think I want to lock in the date. And she wants to meet someone new, y'all. I don't think she's ready. I don't think she's ready, or I think she's ready to move on. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, it, but you know what? I don't want to send her out either because what if she is prego? Hmm. Let's wait a little bit and see. Uh, maybe let's work on a skill point or something. Let's wait a little bit and see if we see any signs of pregnancy. Because we don't want to send her to a community lot if she's pregnant. So, yeah. Um, yes, I will. I will. I'm going to sit there. You're absolutely right about that, Marta. They are, they're super fertile because they're, it looks like they're young adults. Yeah, you're right about that. I need to go in and set everybody's age. I'll just probably go in and do everybody at once and then I don't have to worry about it. I'll try to do that before the next stream. Um, and do anything else, any other like maintenance stuff that I need to do for this neighborhood. Okay, let's see. Let's. Why don't you go work on your creativity while we wait to see if you're pregnant? Since she likes her hobby is painting, she wants to get a skill point. She wants to be best BFFs with uh, Brian, but I think she's done with Brian as far as woohoo. <laughs> I know it's crazy I and I, I'm okay with everybody being super fertile right now too because you know we need a new generation but I don't want everybody to have like three babies in a row or something it's you know we need some time in between <laughs> yes Christina <laughs> Yeah, she could invite over the driver. I don't really want her to get involved with him. But it's her choice, not mine. Okay, so anyway, she we need to take care of some needs here. Let's go to the bathroom, take a shower. I'm going to wait. I think I'm not going to send her anywhere today. Let's wait and see if she got pregnant. We still have four days left in fall. Oh, yeah, because we're play playing them for actually for five days. So we have an extra day to spare. And I guess go get some sleep. Let's just get some sleep here. And let me save, too. Does she have chemistry with someone she hates? I don't think so. Oops, come here. Uh, no. No, she she hate she doesn't have chemistry with Preston. She has chemistry with Royce and Brian. She needs to meet some more guys though. There's a lot more guys in town she could meet that are unattached. <laughs> yeah, we need everyone fertile right now. <laughs> I know. Yeah, if you're stupid enough to have a baby with a complete stranger, welcome to Edgewood. <laughs> Get on in here and start making babies. <laughs> okay, so she's going to be waking up soon. I'm going to let her sleep till at least like 5 or 6 a.m., I think. Come on. Come on. Get to 6 o'clock. Going too slow. All right, 6 a.m., she's waking up. She wants to go on a date. She wants to woohoo. She wants to fall in love. She wants to meet someone new. She also wants to go to work. So we're gonna have to get she's gonna have to go to work one more day. Yeah, guys, I don't think she got pregnant after all. I don't. 
So, you know, it is early in the morning. Let's just double check. Nope. She is not Prego. Okay, so I wanted to double check because I want to send her down to the grocery store. So at 6.30, as long as she gets back by 9, we'll be okay. So let's have her go. Um, I'm actually kind of happy. I know, I'm actually kind of happy. She's going to take the car down to the grocery store and get some groceries. Edge Mart. She's going to Edge Mart. An Anthony child would be great. So we're going to see if there's anybody she can meet. I actually think meet someone new is better to lock in than go on date right now. Um, so we're going to see if she can meet someone new. I also need to hire the services for her. I know, me too. I feel the same way. I want her to have a baby, but not with Brian. We've already got two Brian babies. We need some more jeans in the gene pool here. Okay, here she goes. She's just now getting out of the driveway at 7 a.m. She might be late for work today. I don't care. I don't care if she's late for work. She's got to go do her errands today. She's the mayor. She can be late for work. She can do whatever she wants. <laughs> she could be infertile. Although I doubt it. We probably just didn't get lucky. <laughs> It's her town, that's right. Bum, bum, bum. We'll see if she can run into anybody new at the grocery store. Here we go. All right, so Anna owns the grocery store and we're just gonna go in and do a little shopping. I'll let her go in and see what she wants to do. Let's just buy whatever. We'll buy some groceries. I did. I went back to my blue hair. I missed it. I was like, I don't want to be normal anymore. <laughs> okay, so I really don't think she needs... There we go. 588. Okay, that's good. Get your groceries. Get your groceries. There's Lily. Lily is our gardener, so we're going to be bringing her over to do uh, Athena's gardening work. Oh, look, Ravi. Wait, is Ravi gay? I can't remember. You guys remember if he's gay? I don't know. We'll have her talk to him. Kai. So here's two guys she can meet. She's trying to check out. What the heck? Get over here and check out. I love the music. There we go. He's gay. Ravi's gay. Okay, I thought so. Let's have her talk to Kai then. Is Kai gay? I think we I think we keep thinking that, but he's not. I don't know. Let me pull up my other spreadsheet. Yes, I know, Ravi. You're just standing there like you've never been in a grocery store before. You don't know what to do. <laughs> let me see. I'm going back to my old spreadsheet where we planned the neighborhood. And let me see. Gay, Ravi, Kai. Kai is not gay. Kai is not. <laughs> Oh, she's trying to talk to him on her own. She wanted, she was like, oh, hello. Hello, citizen. <laughs> Let's have a chat. Did he just buy, he just bought some body cream. <laughs> he bought, he wanted, he needs to moisturize. <laughs> okay, well, she keeps trying to talk to people. Let's try and greet him again. A Kai, I'd go, I'd have a Kai and Athena baby. Hello. Hello, let's see if they have any. Okay, that fulfilled her want. Oh, she met Ravi too. I don't think they have any chemistry though. Um, Let's see, what do I want to do? Check Sim out. Check him out. Nah, she's indifferent. She doesn't care that much. All right, well. That's too bad. Don't hang out. You can't sit in the middle of the grocery store. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Athena? No. If you're not going to do any flirting, it's time to leave. <laughs> so she's going to go back home now. She didn't really think much of Kai, did she? She was like, meh. 
So let me think who else do we have in town? Who else do we have in town that she could meet? We've got, um, okay, Gabriel. Gabriel? Oh yeah, I bet Gabriel would be a good lover for her. <laughs> Definitely. He's a romance sim. Yeah. Bruno. I think Bruno is bisexual. So Bruno, I guess, is a possibility. Wait, did Bruno get married to somebody? No. He's not He's not with anybody. Only Franklin got married. Okay, returns home in two hours and 55 minutes. All right, that's cool. We've got... Um, Preston, which she doesn't like him. Dr. Hickey. And Robin Steele. And also Royce. But Royce is kind of involved with somebody. I'm thinking Gabriel. Oh, we also have Anthony. I'm thinking Gabriel and Anthony. <laughs> she needs to get some roaches so she can call Gabriel exactly. <laughs> Oh, that's cool, Christina. I I didn't even think about looking for something like that. Oh, Robin's gay. That's right. That's right. Robin's gay. So basically, we've got Anthony and Gabriel and possibly Bruno and Dr. Hickey. Those are her only options. <laughs> and she, I was really hoping she'd run into Anthony. Wait, did she come home yet? Oh, here she comes. We're going to have her drive to work. She's going in late today. As soon as she parks, then we can choose it again. Okay, get out. Park. Oh, she's got to go put the groceries up. Hold on. She's got to go put the groceries up, and then she's going to go to work. Now, I also want to... Before she goes, I'm going to hire... And the way I'm going to do this is we are going to call... Um, or we're going to teleport over our maid... And have her work. So it's 10.30. We're going to summon. Let's see. Paige. Paige is our maid in town. So we're going to summon her over and have her work. For two. Well, it's 10.30. We'll see how long. It, I, it shouldn't take her very long. There's just like some dirty dishes and stuff. So I'm going to make her selectable. So that I can do a macro clean on her. And that's how I'm going to handle that. And then when she's done, I'll unselect her and delete her and Athena will send her the money. Oh, hello. Oh my god, Paige. <laughs> Paige thinks the mayor is hot. But Athena, unfortunately, she's gay. I mean, she's gay. She's straight. She's not bisexual. So I don't think she's going to return your feelings there. Um, all right, so let's have her go ahead and go to work now. Drive to work. And then we'll keep an eye on Paige as she cleans the house for us. Once Paige is done cleaning, then we're, we will bring over the gardener to do her job today, too. I know, Anthony and Athena jeans. Oh, man. Yeah, I was thinking we need to do... I need to figure out how to do, like, an active career for her. So that she can meet more people. That's a really good idea. You're rooting for Anthony. <laughs> yeah, I need to look at uh, some of that, some of those mods you're talking about, Christina. So we can do a little court system. Oh, look, she wants to be friends with Kai. I know she's late for work. She wants to be friends with Kai. Hmm. Paige is. I think Paige is gay. No, Paige is bisexual. I'm sorry. Paige is bisexual. So Paige can date a man, man or woman. Men and women. She's also a romance sim. So she's our other choice of giving us some orphanage babies. If she ends up not wanting to keep her babies. Okay, is she done? Nope. Still cleaning. It's She's been here for an hour now. So she's been here... Um, so that's a hundred simoleons so far she's earned. Oh, she wants to, oh, she can't get a job. <laughs> she already has a job. This is her job. She cleans houses. She wants to be, fr or she's friends with Anna. We can just look at her stuff here. She also has 
uh, Car she also has chemistry with Brian. <laughs> and she has chemistry with Dr. Hickey, too. I can just see her having a Brian Shelley baby, too. <laughs> Oh, Paige. Oh, hey, Ashley Paige. I see that. That's your middle name. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We could put... Th I did think about putting the podiums down. Oh, okay. She's done. We're going to pay her for two hours because she finished at 12.15. So we're going to pay her for two hours. Hold on. Let me see. How much do we charge... How much do we charge for maid service? Oh, I put, oh, we do 50 an hour. So she's been here for two hours. So that's a hundred simoleons. Okay. So let me put page plus a hundred and I'm going to go ahead and send her home. Now I'm going to make her unselectable and she'll just leave. I think you can go home now, Paige. See you later. There she's going to leave. Okay. So should we owe her 100 simoleons as soon as Athena gets home. Yeah, 50 per hour is what I did. You're right. <laughs> yeah, you get a lot done in an hour. That's true. Oh, I wish I could afford to hire somebody to clean my house. Let me tell you. I hate cleaning so bad. That's my dream. Like, I will feel like I have made it in life whenever I can hire a maid for myself in real life. <laughs> It's it's actually not I looked into it and in my area um I can get a good cleaning person for like twenty dollars an hour. And if you think about it, if somebody only comes like you know, if it only takes them two hours because I have a really small house, I don't think it's that unreasonable. <laughs> You'll come clean my house for free. <laughs> come on over. Okay, so Athena's home. She's taking a shower. We need to buy her a little... We need to do a little office setup for her so that she can pay her bills. And I also forgot to bring the gardener over. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to buy her a desk. She's going to get a fancy desk. She totally would have a fancy desk. <laughs> no, that will not happen. <laughs> that will not happen because... I'll always be here whenever the maid's here. But anyway, I wouldn't worry about it anyway. <laughs> Mr. Pleasant is a very good husband. Okay, so I'm going to put, I'm going to make this her office. I don't know where I want to put this. I guess there is fine. And let's see. Let's get her a desk chair. I'm going to get her a fancy, fancy pants desk chair too. These are just like the ones at the courthouse. I hate cleaning so much. Like, I just despise it. I despise it. <laughs> I'm going to have to clean today after I finish the stream. Yeah, I would definitely say work for yourself too, Sam. I, I was having a hard time trying to find somebody. Um, Because I was looking into it. I was We were, like, really considering uh, getting somebody. And I was having a hard time finding anything that wasn't a service. I'm gonna get her just a laptop here. Or she can actually afford something more expensive. There we go, get that laptop. You love cleaning? <laughs> I wish I did, but I don't. I don't. I just don't. Okay, let's get her a phone in here too. And that'll be good enough for now. Now she can pay her bills. So we will pay bills actually and then send transmit money to bank accounts a hundred some more not bank accounts bank online transmit money to household funds of a playable sim 100 simoleons <laughs> i don't have facebook and it, it won't let me use it unless i have an account um, I saw, I like looked on that website that's like care.com, but it, they make you pay a fee. It's like, you have to pay $25 a month just to look for a service. I am thinking about it though. I am thinking about it, about hiring somebody just like once a week would be helpful, you know? 
Okay, let's see. Where's Paige? There we go. Send her her money. All right. Thank you, Paige. And now, what do we want to do? She, Since she wants to be friends with Kai, I mean, she doesn't necessarily have to have chemistry with him to woohoo with him, right? <laughs> let's have her go use the bathroom and then invite him over. I wonder if she could just ask him on a date. I don't know if he'll say yes. She wants to go on a date. She wants to be friends with him. Let's let's try it. Let's try it. I like my house being clean. I just don't like to clean it myself. You know what I mean? I can't stand for things to be messy. So I often just clean even though I don't want to. <laughs> I guess that's life, huh? That's being a grown up. I don't want to be a grown up. I'm a perpetual child. <laughs> Okay, let's call um, and ask out on date. I'm just going to try it. We're going to see what he says. Yeah, I think once a week, if somebody could just do the deep cleaning, you know what I mean? Just like cleaning the toilet, cleaning the fridge, stuff like that. And then I could just keep up with the lighter stuff. I think that would be really helpful, but I don't know. I'd have to see like how much it was going to cost me. Not Brian Shelley. Kai. No, we are not having another Brian baby. He turned her down. He turned her down. Oh my God, look. <laughs> She's like, he's like, nah. Nah, I don't think so. Okay, so we're gonna try something else. Let's try and chat with him a little bit first. She was too forward. She was just too forward. Um, So we're just gonna t chat with him a bit first. Get to know him a little bit, Athena, dang. <laughs> Not everybody just wants to jump into bed with you. <laughs> she wants to buy a love potion. Now we need Melba. <laughs> we should, let's buy one. I think we can buy one online. Didn't I have a problem with this though? I think I had a problem trying to buy these. I don't remember what it was. I think it was because Melba was blocked. Where's, where's shop online? Gypsy. Oh, Gypsy. Buy love potion. We'll see if we can do it. Oh, you have to allow matchmaker. Okay, we'll unban her. Oh, no, we won't. Or will we? Hmm. I think we're going to have to put it. I think we're going to have to create a matchmaker, y'all. We need a matchmaker in town, and then I'll have to do plastic surgery so that she looks like the the matchmaker. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to bring a new sim into Edgewood. We're gonna have to bring a matchmaker in, a Melba. We're gonna name her Melba. Everybody was telling me they wanted a playable Melba. Well, now well now we're gonna blah, 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 blah. now we're gonna get one. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> For now, I'm not going to do it because I want to create her first. Cleo. <laughs> her name can be Melba Cleo. We'll make her middle name Cleo. <laughs> Melba Cleo Love. That's going to be her name. <laughs> I think her last name needs to be Love. <laughs> so she's going to have to wait on her love potion right now. And I really want these two to become friends and then we can start working on that. I don't think we're going to get a baby this time. We've got three days left. Okay, they're friends now. Oh, she wants to flirt with him. Okay, okay, stop, stop, stop what you're doing. Hang up, call him back, invite him over. We're gonna flirt with him. <laughs> Melba Cleo love. <laughs> We're totally gonna do it. If we have time at the end of the stream, instead of decorating, we'll create Melba. Okay, and then I'll have to do the plastic surgery thing. I need to I need to make some time in my schedule for that. Um, let's call let's just invite him over. She doesn't want to go on a date. She just wants to invite him over. He is not very interested in her, but she's still trying to seduce him. Like she doesn't care when Athena puts her eye gets her eye on something, she's not going to stop until she gets what she wants. Yeah, we'll see. I think we'll have time today, guys, to create a Melba. All right, let's... Once Kai gets here, we're going to try and flirt with him. We're going to try and get up to woohoo level. Okay, stop painting. Stop painting. You've got more important things to do. 
a Kai and Athena baby is not something I thought we would have, but it is possible. <laughs> it's all about the chase for her. You're exactly right. It's all about the chase. She loves the challenge. She loves the challenge. I think she really hates it if a guy is not interested in her. She's like, oh yeah, I'll make you interested. <laughs> okay, so he is here. Now let's flirt with him. Let's just give him, a, give, show him a little of that Mayor Athena charm. Oh wait, did, did it get canceled? Let's try that again. Oh, hello, Ravi. What are you doing? This is none of your concern. You get out of here. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Okay, she flirted with him and he accepted. Oh, Melba will be a hippie. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Ooh, she just got a crush. Oh my God, she wants to kiss him. Let's do it. Uh, where's kiss? Hug, flirt. She can't kiss him? I guess we can go through casual. Kiss. Um, let's try. Let's try. Oh, she's like, yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> he, he turned her down. Uh oh, okay. This is this is tough. Okay, she wants to flirt with him again. Can we apologize? No. You know what? Let's do some smooth talk. Let's do some smooth talk. Come here. We're gonna smooth this over. <laughs> he does not. He is not interested in her that way. But she is not giving up. She wants to get him. <laughs> She's trying too hard. Okay, let's try a flirt again. She wants to flirt again. He's accepting the flirts. He's not ready for a kiss though. Oh, he wants to kiss. I think we need to get him to have a... Oh, he just got a crush on her. Okay. Okay, he just got a crush on her. So let's see if we can get the kiss. No, if so if kiss is not showing up here, I'm not going to do it. So let's just keep flirting. Let's keep flirting until we can build up to a kiss. I know. I think she needs to meet Gabriel too. Don't. I believe that she will definitely get with Gabriel eventually, and probably Anthony too. Okay, we did another flirt. Um, let's do a friendly hug. She doesn't want to do a friendly hug. Do another smooth talk. <laughs> no kissy kissy smoochy smoochy <laughs> let me lure you into my quarters yes that's what she's trying to do let's check on her needs oh she's fine okay let's do another flirt come on now things are going well i know you want i know you want to kiss it's really hard when they don't have any chemistry it's much harder oh that sucks stop it Appreciate. Oh, let's do a back rub. Let's do a back rub. When they have no chemistry, it feels like it takes so long. Like it was so easy to seduce Brian because they had three bolts. But she she wants this challenge. This is what she wants. So. Yeah, she's always gonna give her children away. Yeah, I agree. She does not want kids. And if she has an oopsie, then we're gonna get this. She's gonna fill up the orphanage single handedly. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we can kiss. Let's do a peck. Come on. Oh, he took he accepted the peck. He accepted the peck. Oh my god, now she wants to make out with him. A kiss hand. This is rough. This is rough. Um, hug, no, flirt. Um he's not gonna accept the sweet talk. I bet you he won't. They always deny the sweet talk. We're just going to keep trying. This is all we've got going for us right now. Do another peck. Oh, are you bored? Are you bored with the peck? I'm sorry. Oh, she can finally do a romantic hug. They're just out in the front yard. She hasn't even invited him in or anything. <laughs> oh, it looks like you're gaining more fame now. She's People are starting to see she's a good sim. Toss football. We're not... No, we're not tossing the... We're not tossing the football. No, I don't think they would know either, Olya. They're not going to know. If she has a pregnancy, she's going to have a secret pregnancy. Like, she's going to hide it from everybody. Okay, come here. She's just going to stay inside. She's not going to see anybody. And then we're going to have uh, Diana come over 
and secretly take the baby to the orphanage. Nobody's gonna know. Let's see. Oh, we can do, uh, we can do, oh, let's do a first kiss. Let's do a first kiss. I want to see, I like to see the cutscene. Hi, where are you going? Look at, what is she? Did you see her strutting around? Look at that walk. <laughs> what is that walk she's doing? What is that? <laughs> no, not even the fathers will know. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> he denied her again. Oh, this is so bad. This is so painful. Oh, Athena. Oh my god, that's so painful. Okay, um... Let's try to hit on him. <laughs> I know. Yeah, if they ever did find out who their father was. Oh boy. Oh, she's crying because he denied her. Oh. She wants to be best friends with him. She does, And she wants to woohoo with three different sims still, so that's what I'm using as justification to continue this. It's already 12.43 a.m. She may have to try again tomorrow. I was really hoping to get some woohoo tonight, but it's not easy. She's really sashaying around there, isn't she? <laughs> he is not easy to please. No, he's not. Um, let's do a charm. What are you trying to do? Toss football again? Do another romantic hug. Do a tender kiss. Do a kiss up arm. I don't care. Do whatever you gotta do. Oh no! No, he doesn't want the tender kiss. This is rough. She's gotta go to bed. Okay, you just... Goodbye, Kai. You're right, he's very hot. He's the one who always gets mad in the store and stomps off. He always leaves. And now this. Okay, say goodbye. This is not going well. Just say goodbye. Goodbye. All right, she's got to go to bed anyway. Maybe she can try again tomorrow. She's going to go take a shower. Aw, she's crying because she couldn't get him because he rejected her. She's so insecure. She's so insecure. Go take a shower. Use the bathroom. He doesn't have time for games. Nope. I think Kai, he kind of wants more of a real serious relationship. And he knows what kind of Sim Athena is. And he's like, I don't have time for this. He doesn't want to get pumped and dumped. <laughs> it does rhyme. Bye, Kai. <laughs> Oh, hey, Lexi, welcome. I haven't seen you in a long time. Oh, she's crying. Oh, go to the bathroom. Yeah, he's smart. He doesn't have time for this. Just doesn't have time. He wants something more than he's going to get from Athena, and he knows it. Okay, let's go have some leftovers. <laughs> He, Kai is very, I don't know what the word for it is, but he's always the one who gets mad in the store when he has to wait. Like, he has no patience for BS. That's who Kai is. He has no patience for it. And he knows exactly what Athena's trying to pull on him. And he's like, no, nah, I don't want any part of that. <laughs> I see him being very structured and strict too. And he's a fireman, so he, I think he's very meticulous. That's just the kind of sim he is. I don't know who we're gonna who we're gonna be able to pair him up with. I don't know who he likes. It's gonna be real interesting to see. So at next, our next sim that we're gonna play after Athena is Melanie, our teacher. So by the next stream, I'm gonna have our school ready. And then Kai is next after Melanie. So we'll get to see. We'll get to see. <laughs> oh, she's still crying. All right, come on. Or maybe if she... Ha I don't think she's going to have a baby in time now, y'all. I think it's about to change to two days. So even if she did get prego, we're not going to have one today. Which is unfortunate. I really want an orphanage baby. Okay, go ahead and go to sleep. 
If she gets prego tomorrow, though, we'll just play until the baby's born. <laughs> um, what's happening in this household? Not too much yet. This is this is our mayor, Athena. And she's basically just woohooing everybody in town. <laughs> and we're hoping that she gets pregnant because she's going to be giving her baby up for adoption. And we have no babies in the orphanage right now. So we're that's what we're hoping for. So far, we're not having any luck, though. Okay, she's got to get up and get ready for work. Let's have her go get some breakfast. Maybe eat some... Eat some cereal. Oh, she wants to go on a date! Oh my god, I'm locking it in. I'm gonna have her try to ask Kai on a date again. <laughs> I hope she doesn't get rejected. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right, Christina. I think he needs someone very meek. Who doesn't stand up to him too much. Yes, Leslie needs the orphanage populated. She does. She, We know that she's probably going to have to adopt her next child, so we got to get a baby in there. <laughs> oh, sorry, Pixel Dreams. Um, are, it looks like you're a YouTube... Are you a... You're a member on YouTube, Pixel. So I do also post the link on my YouTube community tab. So if you ever don't have the link um, and you're a YouTube channel member, you can get the link on the community tab. But I heard they're getting rid of the of the community tab on YouTube. I don't know if it's true, but I heard that. And I was like, how am I supposed to uh, talk to my channel members if they get rid of the community tab? Okay, good. <laughs> uh, Athena is going to work now. When she gets home, she's going to try and go on another date. If she wants anything to get her to go out somewhere else, I would really like for her to meet Gabriel. I wish she would get roaches. I know. I don't know. They. I guess they were saying like... Now, I heard another YouTube creator talk about this and say that they saw it in a... YouTube makes videos for creators. It's called like the Creator Academy. And, and they, they have like a special channel where they tell us about news and stuff that's going on for creators. And somebody said they saw it in one of those videos. I, I didn't see it myself. But I mean, I believe this person. I don't think they would have made it up. That they might be getting rid of the community tab. I don't know. I hope they don't because that's where I like to post stuff um, to my channel members. I know, I know. I need to do another... I like doing polls for you guys. I'm behind on the stuff that I've polled you for before. <laughs> but maybe I'll do some other types of polls instead of just what content to make. Like, maybe you guys could help me make other decisions too. YouTube never even made the community tab available for tablet? Really? Oh, she just earned 899. So I gotta write that down, guys. I'm trying to keep up with how much she earns. 865 865 Monday Tuesday when oh I don't know how much she made Wednesday I guess I'll just put 865 and 899 okay she's get yeah <laughs> she's doing quite well she wants to woohoo and go on a date oh my god and look who it is walking by look who just came sauntering by <laughs> oh my god Brian I mean, we could just do this real quick. <laughs> she does just want to woohoo real quick, y'all. Um, and it would be an easy woohoo. What do you think we should do? Should we just have her woohoo Brian real quick? <laughs> I mean, he I think he came over right. He knew she was going to be getting off work. Look at him. He's coming over here with making out on his mind. <laughs> Brian. Look at this. Greet Brian. Did she just fart? <laughs> She's like, don't mind me. Oh, oh, hell, oh, sorry. Hello, Brian. She's like, I need a quick woohoo and you're right here. So let's do it. Attraction. All right. Well, let's see. Casual woohoo. On the bed. <laughs> Come on in, Brian. 
Now she still wants to go on a date, so I'm gonna lock that in too. I'm st I'm still not giving up on Kai. <laughs> Let's make some whoopee. <laughs> Okay, so they're going upstairs just for just for an afternoon. Man, she's got a high woohoo drive, doesn't she? She's she's going like crazy with these guys. It's his silky teal shirt. <laughs> mm -mm. Kai's not gay. I don't know why we think we keep on thinking that, but I looked at my spreadsheet. He's not. He is not gay. Ravi is gay. Who are, who are who are our gay sims? We have Ravi is gay, um, Robin Steele is gay, and then we have uh, Paige is bisexual, and then uh, Franklin is bisexual, and Bruno is bisexual. And I think that's it. That's all I have in my spreadsheet, unless I forgot to write somebody down. Afternoon delight. Sky rockets in flight. Afternoon delight. <laughs> who who knows? Uh, you thought he was the first guy. I thought he was too, but I didn't write it down. And he seemed to be uh flirting and stuff with Athena, so I don't think he is. Bruno, I think, was our first uh gay sim. Oh, she wants to make out with three different sims too. Well, if he, when he comes back over, we'll check just to make sure. I mean, I don't think he's gay now since he was accepting her kisses and stuff, but we'll check his uh, gender preference. Okay, are they back? Are they decent? Are they decent now? Okay, and she's going to go make out with him. All right. Well, you know what? Go ahead and make out with him and then kick him out. We're done with you, Brian. We don't need anything else from you. <laughs> That's the song that was in your head. That's such a dirty song, and it sounds so innocent. It sounds so innocent, like you wouldn't even think. It sounds like some kind of 70s pop song, but it's like a really super dirty song. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll have to check on that, guys. I'll check on Kai. We'll invite him back over, and we'll check on him. You might be right. You might be right. Okay, you know what? Say goodbye, Brian. We're done with you. We got everything we want from you. Okay, I'll check it out, guys. Thanks for uh, letting me know. We'll, we'll get him over here. We'll check him out. Get out of here, Brian. I'm busy. Okay, let's have her use the bathroom, Get take a shower, get something to eat, and then we'll see if we can get Kai over here. Bills are already due again? Dang. I feel like we just paid them. Let's have some dinner. Looks like we're going to have to have the maid back over again tomorrow. Um, Let's make some potato soup and then we'll invite Kai over for dinner. I know if he's gay and Athena's over there trying to force herself on him. Oh, God, I'll feel so bad about that. <laughs> She's the one who wanted to flirt with him, though. Okay, come on, hurry up. Somebody's calling you. She's going to eat first. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Eat and then answer the phone. She's, she's just going to let it ring and ring. Who's calling? Oh, it's Ravi. It's Ravi. She wants to be friends with Ravi. Now, he's definitely 100% gay. So we're not even going to try that, but she does want to be friends with him. Okay, but I'm sorry, Ravi. I can't talk right now, though. Okay, we'll be friends later. I gotta go. I gotta try to get. I gotta try to get with Kai. <laughs> oh, Pretty Woman! I haven't watched that in a long time. It's a good movie. Okay, so let's call. Um, let's call Kai. I don't think he's gonna agree to a date, but let's just invite him over and see if we can. I don't know. We'll check his gender preference at least. See if we can get some more progress made. Sounds great. I'll be there in a few. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. She's getting really tired. She's woohooed now, what, four times or something with Brian Shelley? Okay, Kai's here. Let's, I'm going to check his gender preference. Um, where's the thing at? 
Let's just make sure, guys. Gender preference, Kai. Oh. Oh my god, he is gay. He is. <laughs> you guys are right. He is gay. Okay, let me write that down right now. I feel so bad. We've been over here. No wonder he keeps rejecting her. He's like so confused. <laughs> Okay, so he is gay. He is not even bi, he is gay. So we have we have like three three gay males, two bisexual males, and one bisexual female. That's we don't we don't have enough gay females. Oh man, I guess we're going to have maybe Melba will be gay. Maybe Melba will be gay. <laughs> I feel so bad, guys. Athena is so... She's shameless. She's like, oh, yeah, you think you're gay? You won't be gay anymore after you get a load of this. <laughs> but she's wrong. She is wrong. She is not going to change his mind. Um, but she does want to be best friends with him. So maybe she can just, like, apologize for trying to hit on him. And they can just be friends, you know? <laughs> She's a predator, I know. Not cool, Athena, not cool. Oh. And that's why he keeps, obviously why he keeps rejecting her and they have no chemistry together. <laughs> Cause he does, no, don't. <gasps> no, no, no. You don't have to do that, Kai. You don't have to do that. She's got him all screwed up, y'all. <laughs> yeah, let's ask to be friends. Let's be like, I am sorry. Don't I have the mod? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask to just be friends because I don't want her. She's... No. No. Let him be who he is, Athena. Okay? Yeah, she pressured him. Who knows? She might have threatened him. Okay, now they're just friends. They're just friends. Okay, she's not going to be forcing herself onto him anymore. Okay, let's say goodbye. She... I think she apologized to him. She's like, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you that you didn't like ladies. <laughs> okay, so that's that's over, guys. That's over. I feel so guilty about that. Um, but I really didn't think he was gay. But I have it marked now in my spreadsheet that he's gay, so we won't forget. Yeah, I think he was... Who knows? She might have been like, you better give me a kiss or I'm going to raise your taxes. <laughs> he was very forgiving. He was. He was. Maybe he was still like in the per in the process of trying to figure out his own sexuality, you know? And maybe Athena is what made him realize that he is 100% gay. He's like, okay, this is not working for me. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we ha he has several, we have several options for him as far as partners. Like I said before, we have Ravi. Ravi and Kai would be so cute together, wouldn't they? I wonder if they like each other. We have Ravi and Kai, and then we also have Bruno. Now, Franklin is bi, but he's already married to a woman. So he's kind of out. But we do have uh, Bruno, the police officer, and then Ravi. I would love Ravi and Kai because they're both gay. They're both like 100% gay. So I think that would be better since we have one extra gay or bisexual male sim. We could have the bisexual male sim go with a woman. But we'll see. It's not, I'm just going to let my sims choose who they want to be with. They might have been grocery shopping together. Aww. <laughs> okay, let's speed this up. Oh, and also I want to save. We wasted all that time, though, on Kai, unfortunately. She got nowhere. She got nowhere in her relationships. <clears throat> okay, let's go. So we've got two days left. And she want. Oh, does she want to meet someone new? Yes, she wants to meet someone new again. Make out and woohoo. Okay, since so she wants to meet someone new, we're going to try to meet Gabriel. Where should she go? We could go over to the bakery and get some pie. Um, I know I've seen Gabriel show up at the bakery before. Oh, let's turn auto lights on too. She's the female icky ricky. She's pretty icky herself. 
<laughs> She's failing everywhere. <laughs> oh, I should have tried that, Marta. That's a good point. Okay, so she wants to be friends with the two gay guys in town. <laughs> but no, we're going to have her go and meet somebody after work today. Because um, I don't want to take her before she goes to work. She's going to go to the bathroom, get her some breakfast. And we're going to have the maid come over and the gardener come over today while she's at work, too. Oh, she has a day off today. Oh, great. That's even better. Oh, she only works four days. Awesome. Okay, so after she she's going to eat some soup for breakfast. And we're going to just go around town. We're going to go around town until we meet him. She wants to meet someone new, and we know that we basically just have Bruno, Gabriel, and Dr. Hickey at this point for her to have an affair with. So if one of those three shows up, we'll have her meet them and see uh, how she feels. We'll just see who shows up. I don't think she got pregnant from that last woohoo, but I guess we better double check. We better double check just in case. Nope, she didn't. Wow. Like, I'm I'm actually glad that she's not having Brian's baby, y'all. I really am. We need some more genes. And, oh, and Anthony. Yes, thank you. And Anthony. And Anthony. So one of those needs to show up. Oh, my God. Please, if it's not Gabriel, please be Anthony. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's head down. We'll go down to the bakery first. She hasn't been to the bakery, and she can get some some more food. Um, Leslie's love muffins. I know. I, w I was thinking that too. The mayor and the police officer having a love child. That would be a scandal. That would be a scandal for sure. Well, let's go see who's in town today. Let's go see who, who she's going to be. <laughs> We're going to leave it up to fate at this point. Oh, yeah. See, if Kai and Ravi get together, then they can definitely adopt um, a baby from the orphanage. I'm, I am I want Athena and Paige to both give us an orphanage baby. That would be perfect. So then we'd have two available for adoption. We need more female romance sims. Oh, well, you know what? We're going to have to make Melba a romance sim. So there's another opportunity. She has to be, don't you guys think? Melba has to be romance. And we're going to make her an, ad an adult. We're not going to make her an elder. Because we need some more uh, female romance sims around town. <laughs> Anthony, Athena, and a baby A. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Oh, there's some pie. Let's go buy a piece of pie. Let's go buy a piece of pie and see who shows up. <laughs> Yeah, I could add just add some random kids to the orphanage. I'm trying not to do that, but I will do it if I have to. But I would rather all the children be like from the from these Sims, from the loins of my Sims. <laughs> okay, hey Leslie, come on. I need to buy this pie. She she her bakery actually was doing really well. Look at all the stuff she sold. There's Paige. Oh my God, is Gabriel here? Is Gabriel here? Yes! Gabriel's here, y'all. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, Gabriel's looking so good. And I have to thank you again, Marta, for doing his hair. Marta retextured his gorgeous Gabriel hair into the new hair system texture. And it looks so good. And now he looks like himself again. <laughs> Okay, so let's um, greet him after she gets her pie. I don't know why he has a... Why he had a bag in his hand. He didn't even go in yet. Come on, Leslie, hurry up before Gabriel leaves. Gabriel is the exterminator in town. So anytime somebody gets roaches, Gabriel comes over and exterminates them. How does he have a bag in his hand, y'all? Oh, and he's already looking at her. He was already checking her out. <laughs> no Athena babies yet, Shannon. We're trying, though. He's She's about to meet Gabriel. 
Um, she has woohooed with Brian Shelley like four times and she hasn't gotten pregnant yet. Hello, Gabriel. Everybody's swooning over him. Oh my God, does she have no, does she seriously have no uh, chemistry with him? Okay, let's try this. Check Sam out. Okay. Oh, hello. She wants to talk to him and ask him on a date. Yes, yes. Oh my God. Okay, let's talk. Let's do a smooth talk, actually. Okay. She wants to go on a date with him. She doesn't care. <laughs> she doesn't care. Hello, have this rose. I know you're trying to shop for a cake right now, but um, I really need to talk to you. <laughs> okay, so that went well. Um, Flirt. Okay, let's do a flirt. Let's do a charm. Oh, wait. Hold on. Gabriel's not gay or something, is he? No, okay, he's not. He's definitely not. I got scared for a second. I was like, wait, does he have no chemistry because he's gay? <laughs> no, he's not. Cause we also talked about him being a, oh no, no, he turned her down. Oh no, and she wants a love potion again. <laughs> I know, I don't know why they're, they, they have no bolts. Okay, well, he turned her down. I guess we better do another smooth talk. Can we apologize? No. He's like, I'm trying to shop here, lady. Okay. Why don't you just leave me alone? He's got the rose stuck in his hand. Oh, Gabriel, we got to reset you. Oops. Okay, let's do another smooth talk. She does, you know, having no bolts does not deter her, though. It does not deter her. <laughs> yeah, let's check casual. Will I woohoo? Ew, not even. Oh my God. Negative 3,980? Um, hold on. Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Gabriel's gay? What? How are all of her male sims gay? <laughs> How is he gay? I swear he was not gay. We checked his gender preference. Oh my God. <laughs> I know he was not gay. She's making them all gay. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't think he was gay. I, ha I have nothing on my spreadsheet. I have nothing on my spreadsheet for him. Okay, guys. I think we've got a few too many gay male sims. <laughs> We're not going to have enough for our f partners for our females. That's one, two, three, four, five, six of our guys are... Six out of ten are gay. That's too many. <laughs> That's too many. <laughs> what are we going to do? We have no gay women. It might be resetting. Or it might have reset. Okay, well, should we make him bi then? I think let's... Guys, let's set him to bisexual. Um, that way, because I don't want to take away that part of his personality, but in order for our neighborhood to progress, like, we need some straight guys. <laughs> I mean, I love having a town full of gay guys, too, but we need some straight. <laughs> you think he was? You guys think he was? I wonder what happened. We're going to have to recheck everybody now and make sure everybody is how we originally. I hope it didn't like reset or something. So, yeah, let's do uh, let's do bye. 
Let's do buy. I'm gonna make him buy. And then let's check and see if they have any, uh, what do you call it? Chemistry now. I think that's a good compromise. That way we don't completely strip that part of him away, but it also gives us some leeway for making some biological babies too. <laughs> Athena happens. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Now they have some chemistry. Let's have her check him out. Let's see, flirt. Checks him out. Oh, three bolts. Three bolts. Would you look at that? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so let's have her flirt now and see how it goes. Let's just do a charm. I don't want to go overboard and have her get rejected. She gets really upset when she gets rejected. <laughs> You're going to double check? Okay, that'd be good. Um, let's talk. She wants to talk. Let's do a smooth talk. That's much better. I swear he was straight, though. I think he was completely straight before. But yeah, if, if you can... Maybe we could go back and look at the stream where we created him and see. I feel like something got messed up here. Okay, she wants to flirt with him. If he was actually straight, I'll set him back to straight. If he was bi, we'll keep him at bi. If you, f if you find out, Christina, let me know. But if not, I'll go back and check um, after the stream. Because I don't want to make you guys have to watch that over again. Okay, make out with three different sims. Ask Gabriel on a date. Well, you know what? Let's just ask him on a date. Let's just see if she'll go with if he'll go with her. Uh, let's see. Ask on date. Oh, you're checking the other stream? Oh, thanks, guys. You guys are so great. <laughs> Oh, he said yes to the date. Oh my God, he said yes to the date. I swear he was completely straight though. I really truly remember him being straight, but I don't know. I've got, I got it wrong with Kai too. So my memory might be failing me. <laughs> okay, so let's tell a joke, entertain, tell a dirty joke and talk. All right, we're going to start with the dirty joke, just like always. Oh, she can't even tell him a dirty joke. I guess just tell him a normal joke. That could be what happened to Kai. So maybe something, somehow they got reset? Alright, I'm gonna have to go back. Um, we're gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to go back and find out in those creation streams. I'm gonna go check Kai, for Kai, too. But I definitely don't remember Gabriel being gay. Um, okay, let's talk. Let's just, just do a little gossip. Let's do a little gossip. And let's do a little flirt. They're just having a nice date at the bakery. They don't even care. They're like, whatever. <laughs> we don't care who's around. Robbie is definitely still gay, though, I hope. Let's double check him. Because then we're going to know for sure if something went wrong. If we ch if we check Ravi, okay, he is gay. Okay, that's good. That's good. I know the whole stream is Athena hitting on the gay man of Edgewood. <laughs> because we set gay sims to 20 in the middle of creation process. Oh yeah, you're right. Because we had already created a bunch of the females. We, you know what we need to do once you once we find out for sure if Kai is supposed to be gay or bi we need to go make another female gay and I hate to do that I hate to force it on anybody but we don't have enough gay females in the town and we're gonna have to kind of mess with the population here so we have uh Lily and Melanie left that we haven't played yet Lily and Melanie we could make one of them gay. And we have Diana, too. We have Diana, Lily, and Mel Melanie. So let me think about that, too. Let me think about that. It's just, our, everything got screwed up here. 
Okay, so she wants to slow dance, play, dance, tell dirty joke. Where's that dirty joke at? She still can't tell him a dirty joke. What does he want to do? Kiss. Let's go for it. Let's go for that first kiss. Oh, I really hope he doesn't turn her down. Don't turn her down. Oh, yay. <laughs> yeah, that's what we'll have to do. Aww. Yeah, they could turn from interaction. That's true. Um, depending on who they interact with. That's why I always make them high. Like, I make their level high. And Kai here is, like, high. He was high on the gay scale. You know what I'm talking about? How you can go high or low with the numbers. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> so, and I definitely didn't think that he was uh, that high. I hope that made sense. I feel like that made no sense. Can we tell him a dirty joke now? Yes, thank you. You can check on ACR adjuster gender preference hood show hood. Oh, I didn't know you could do that, Marta. We'll do that when we get back. We will do that when we get back to her house. Slow dance, play, dance. That's a really good idea. You know what I mean about the high and low? Okay. <laughs> Good, because I don't feel like I was explaining it very well. Wait, what are we doing? Play. Let's do some sexy tickles. Oh, it can include NPCs. Well, we don't have, we only have like two NPCs or something that just accidentally got generated. So I think it'll still be pretty accurate. Okay, you're on a date. What are you doing? Ravi's over here trying to greet her. <laughs> and he still wants to... What does he want to do? Why can't I hover over that? I don't know what that is. Kiss, I guess? Let's do a regular kiss. Oh no, I'm sorry, Olya. Hope everything's okay. Let us know in the Discord if, if everything's okay, if you can. Um, okay, so she just got a crush and slow dance, dance. Oh my god, I hate slow dance, but I guess they're going to have to do it. What time is it? Oh, we've been going for an hour and 52 minutes. Wow, it doesn't feel like I've been playing for that long. <laughs> Okay, now they re-rolled everything, and now they want to do some kissing and flirting and back rubs. Okay, enough of the slow dancing. Oh no, oh yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to hear that. Let us know if there's anything we can do. His hobby is music and dance, that's right. No, don't leave your date to go talk to... Uh, What's her face? Okay, Olya, I'll be thinking of you. I'm so sorry. Um, let's go and kiss him some more, I guess. Smooch. Go do a smooch. Nothing like a slow dance in the bakery, I know. <laughs> I always feel bad when somebody gets bad news in my stream because then I'm like, I have to keep entertaining even though I feel bad for the person <laughs> I feel I always feel guilty about that okay she wants to have a dream date now did he just buy a cake give back rub flirt and hug okay let's just keep this going let's keep this going let's see if we can get some woohoo wants back rub kiss flirt whatever he's like I'm trying to buy my cake woman I'm trying to buy my cake <laughs> I'm going to go back and if you guys don't find it, if you guys find it, let me know. Um, but as far as the, what their original gender preferences are. But if you don't, I will go back and look too. Oh, what just happened? Did he just turn her down for something? What did he turn her down for? She wants to make out. Let's try that. Oh, they can't make out yet. Did he turn her down for a romantic kiss? Let's try that. Let's try that. 
Okay, let's try up arm. This should be relatively easy. Let's see, is there anywhere for them to woohoo here? There's a couch in the break room, which I don't think they can go in there. I think I have that closed off to customers. So I wonder if we can ask him back to her place. Let's ask, ask back to my place. Ask, do you want a ride home? I didn't even know that was a thing. Did you guys know that? You couldn't find it? Maybe we didn't check it. Maybe we never checked it and I just, we just assumed for him. I'll keep, I'll try to check that other one too. Marta, I'll try to check that other one too. Okay, so let's uh, go back to my place. You want to come over for some brunch? The ride home thing never works for you? I, I've never even seen that before. I didn't even know that was an option. Okay, he asked her back. She asked him back to her place, so does she just leave and he comes with her? I hope that's how that works. He's stealing that cake. <laughs> he got a cake. He's not paying for it. No, Gabriel, you got to pay for your cake. Don't steal from Leslie. I don't know what that ride home does. Yeah, I can teleport him. That's true. Yeah, it seems like maybe he would get in the car with her and then he would be home. I don't know. I've never, I've never even seen that before. The come over to my place does work. Yeah, I've had that one work before too. Also, I've had it where whenever they invite somebody over, the person immediately leaves when they get back to their house or the date is like immediately over. So I hope that doesn't happen this time. Okay, we've got six hours to wait. There goes Dr. Hickey. She probably should have talked to Dr. Dr. Hickey right whenever he was uh, in her yard that first time. Because I bet she would have been attracted to him. <laughs> nope, I'm with the mayor. <laughs> All right, come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. We're ready to get this show on the road. So she wants to woohoo with three different sims. I think she's about to get her wish. Wait, no. Did she woohoo with two different? No, this will be two. She's only woohooed with Brian. I forgot. Kai was gay. He wasn't interested. <laughs> he was. We have a lot of bisexual male sims. Oh, see, it ended the date. That's what it always does to me. I don't know why. Maybe he's not, and he's leaving now. Does that happen to you guys, or is that just me? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so you know what? We're just going to teleport him back over. We're going to teleport him back over. Gabriel. I guess he's not gone yet. Okay, now he's gone. Let's teleport him back over. Summon. Rochester. There you, there you are, Gabriel. Get over here. There's a mod that ends it called Dates Behave. I probably have that. Is it Sai John mod? I probably have a mod that's doing it. Yep. I bet that's what it is. I bet that's what it is. Because I have a bunch of his mods. Okay, so let's see. Let's just go ahead and see if he wants to woohoo. How about that? Let's just jump right in. Propose, no thank you. We're gonna go to casual, woohoo, in the bed. <laughs> She's going to take a shower. Don't go take a shower. Take one afterward. <laughs> You're about to get dirty. <laughs> oh, he's, go he's going for it, y'all. All right. Cross your fingers that if she does get prego, it's from Gabriel. So we can have some more, some different genes in the neighborhood. <laughs> woohoo time. He's like, all right, sure. Why not? Why not? And he, Gabriel is a romance sim too. Um, let me see here. We're going to get to him. He's after Kai. We're going to play him. He's a romance sim too. He likes blondes usually. 
I'm seriously wondering if we never even checked his gender preference. If we just assumed it and it, and he actually did roll as gay. But I just had to make him bisexual. I feel like I almost feel guilty. I hate forcing anything on my Sims, but we just had too many gay males. Oh, hood census, yes. Oh, let me wait till they finish so I can go up there because the adjuster's up there. Or they're just taking their precious time. Okay, I think they're done. I think they're done. Oh, 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 oh. Oops, oops. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Now, where do I go? Hood settings. Oh! Okay, that's weird. Because we didn't get a cutscene with Brian. Did we? Why are we getting a cutscene with Gabriel, but we didn't get a cutscene with Brian? They hadn't woohooed before, had they? That's weird. You swear I checked it? I, I felt like he was straight. I really did. We'll have to go back and look. There's like so many hours that I've streamed Edgewood. Okay, now where do I go? Hood? ACR hood? Lo uh, miscellaneous? No. Lot? Hood wide settings? I don't know where it is. Which is no adjuster? No. Oh, they woohooed on the couch for the first time. No, did they? Yes, that's what it is. That's what it is. I hate that when that happens because I want to see the cutscene. <laughs> you guys are right. Oh, gender preference. Okay, thank you. Hood. Show hood senses. Thank you. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see. We've got <clears throat> total neighbors in hood 56. We have 15 male, five straight, three gay, three bi, and four have no. Four have none. So, five, six, seven, eight. Wait. So 15 males, five are straight, and three are bi. So that's eight out of 15. Three are gay and four have no gender preference. Okay. So we also have 15 females, 12 are straight, zero gay, and one bi. So the ones who have no gender preference, I wonder if those are the NPCs. Yeah, that yeah, I think you guys are right. I think those are the NPCs. So those don't matter to us. So because we don't have 15, we actually have 12 uh, of each sex. So we just need to look at the gay and bi. So we definitely have way more gay and bi males than we do females obviously. We only have one bisexual female and that's it. So we need a, at least one gay female, don't you guys think? Um Brian Shelley, I guess he's going to pick up the slack. 50% on the female are, yeah, wait, 50%. Oh, 50% females, 50% males. Straight, 56%. This says only 10% are gay. That doesn't seem, I guess so. I guess with only three. Melba Love has to be gay. Exactly. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're not going to force anything on anybody except for Melba. <laughs> Melba Love is going to be gay, y'all. She's going to be a gay romance sim. <laughs> no, it's not including the babies. It's not including the babies. They don't have a gender preference yet. They won't have a gender preference till they turn into teens. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Melba, so that will give us one gay and one bi for the females. But still, we've got three gay and three bi's for the males. <laughs> We're just going to have to have our bisexual males g get with ladies. I mean, I don't know what else to do. Or we're not going to have enough pairs. We're not going to have enough stems for everybody to have a partner. So, 
our romance sims won't really partner up like they they usually don't get into you know marriages but we'll see okay so that's done that's how we're going to solve that problem we're just going to have uh melba's going to be gay we're just going to make her gay from the start and that'll be a little bit better at least Paige could have another lady yeah it happens it happens yeah and like franklin was by but he married leslie because he fell in love with her he could have fallen in love with a guy but he fell in love with leslie okay why are you screaming that you just saw her in the shower seriously you just woohooed with her <laughs> okay so what are we gonna do now let's see let's i guess did they make out? I gotta make sure they make they make out. So she can get that that make out one. She still needs one more, but I just wanna make sure she makes out with everybody. Not everybody, but everybody she dates. Okay, what's the deal? The farmer and he was our first buy sim. Not the exterminator, but we thought he was by. Okay. I thought that he was, or I thought Bruno was our first buy, Sim. You think your neighbor's going insane every minute you hear screaming and then laughing? <laughs> oh my god. I wonder what they're doing, Indrick. Okay, she's gonna say goodbye to Gabriel, I think. I think it's time for you to go. Yeah, it's time for you to go, and then so she's gonna work on herself a little bit tonight. Say goodbye, Gabriel. She got two guys this time, though. That's pretty good. Brian and Gabriel. We never checked his preference. So he did roll his gay. Well, we had to make him buy. We just had to. I feel, I, I feel bad, but we had to. Maybe uh, Athena changed his mind. He was like, you know what? I think I could go either way. <laughs> they might have a scream laugh. <laughs> I hope she has the first Gabriel baby too, but I'm looking at her needs and they don't seem to be going down very fast. Maybe she's just not very fertile. Okay, I'm going to have her go work on her painting. On her painting skill as well. How much time do we have left? Oh, we have like 50 something minutes. So we're gonna have time to make Melba for sure. We have one day left in fall. So I think this might be the last day that we're playing Athena. I'll double check and see if she got Prego too. Oh, somebody's calling. Let's go answer the phone. Who's calling? Is it Gabriel? Is it Brian? Or is it Ravi? Yeah, I like that pixel. I like that explanation. He might have thought he was completely gay, but then realized that he likes both. I hope... Sh who is it? Oh, it's Ravi. <laughs> I like Ravi and Athena being friends. I like that. I think they'll be good friends. She's friends with Kai too, poor guy. I really, I swear that Kai was straight. But maybe we just didn't check. I don't know. She wa No, you cannot flirt with Ravi. You cannot flirt with Ravi. Ravi is not interested in you, Athena. <laughs> she has no shame. <laughs> you are not doing that again. <sighs> I don't know where her problem is. <laughs> okay, let's check her needs. They seem to be going down normally at this point. Um, I want to see if she has any more points, too. Oh, and I can't forget that pie. Let's give her some of these need decay aspiration points. And then also I want to put her pie in the fridge before we forget about it. Her piece of pie that she bought. Put it on the table. I think it'll stay good for a while. Maybe she can have that. She can have that for a late night snack. She can go eat her piece of pie. 
Yeah, I can totally see that too, Pixel. I know she likes gay men. I don't know what her deal is. <laughs> I like the idea of Kai and Ravi being together. I hope they like each other and have some chemistry together. Yeah, and then they can be friends with Athena. They can be friends with the mayor. <laughs> it's raining men. Hallelujah. It's raining men. Oh. <laughs> That's what she's singing in the shower. Okay, hurry up, then go eat your pie, and then you can go to sleep. I really wish she would have gotten pregnant, but I don't think she did. <laughs> eat your pie, go to sleep. We're going to save, and I think this is it. I think this is all we're going to get. Let me save. I think that's what it is, Pixel. I think she just, she likes, she wants a challenge. She's like, oh yeah, reject me. I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna make you accept my advances. <laughs> we did find out that Gabriel was gay, but we found out in another stream. Oh, I don't remember it. It's, po it's definitely possible, but I don't remember it or which one it would have been. It bothers me. But I mean, we had to make changes. We had to, cause just like all of our guys were gay, we wouldn't have any partners for our straight females. Okay, let's see. She wants to go on a date again, of course she does. Make out with three different sims. I'm gonna lock that in. Um, go take a shower. Okay, now it's winter. So I'm just gonna check so we will know whether or not she got prego. Nope, she did not. Wow. I think she went, what did she woohoo like five or six times? Five times at least and didn't get pregnant. That's crazy. It might have been the, the meet and greet. It might have been. Okay, so I'm going to save again and we're going to be done with Athena. She, she got several dates, but no babies. No babies for our orphanage. Too bad. So I guess we'll have to rely on either Paige or Melba. To give us an orphanage baby. I know it is so disappointing. Oh, but she's still got plenty of time. She is now um, 40. I guess she's 40 years old now. So um, she has. She still has time in my world. My Sims can get Prego all the way up to like 55-ish. Yeah, she got lucky. She got lucky. Okay, so we're going to go out to the neighborhood, and I want to make Melba, y'all. I want to make Melba. We need her. Obviously, we need her services because Athena wanted to buy a potion, like, twice, and she couldn't. And guess what else? This will be so cool. We should make a little her have a little shop to sell the love potions and stuff. Can you sell those? Do you guys know? You can sell the love potions. Oh, maybe that's why we thought he was bi, Christina. Yeah, I think you're right. So we're just gonna make him bi. We're gonna call it good. You can sell them. Like the love potions though, not the witch potions. I'm thinking the love potions. Although I guess we could make Melba a witch. I don't know, I'll have to think about that. Um, But as long as the, I could get like a buyable potion that she could sell. We could do that. We could make her have a little shop. Okay, awesome. That's great. I've never sold the potions before. Okay, so we're gonna make uh we're gonna make Melba here. What I wanna do is pull up my chemtail generators. Let's see here. I am no longer using the custom sliders because it's just too it's just too much. It's just too much. I'm just gonna use the sliders that are already in the game. So I'm going to go ahead and close the game and pull up Body Shop because I want to make her in Body Shop and then we'll pull up the game again and we'll finish making her in here. Okay, let's quit. Are you sure I want to quit? Yes. The pharmacy, exactly. She, it's some kind of pharmacy. It's some kind of pharmacy. <laughs> Not the official one. It's the one you go to when you need some... You need some special, you need some special supplies. <laughs> yep, 
yeah like a caravan or something yeah she i think we'll build her like a little some kind of little trailer or something like that yeah she's definitely gonna be a hippie i'm gonna have to go find some hippie cc <laughs> I'm feeling okay with streaming for the third day in the in a row, because two of them are morning streams. So I I love doing the the streams at this time of day. Now I like doing my my five o'clock streams too, but I like the morning ones better. <laughs> but I can't do these on the weekdays because a lot of people are like at work. A lot of my U.S. audience. So I feel like I also have to do those afternoon streams. I don't know why Body Shop is taking so long to load here. Let me delete my cache files. I, w I would like to do all, all streams at this time of the day, but I can't. I got to switch up the time so that everybody can come. Okay, my body shop is not loading, so I'm going to go into my task manager and see if I can see if it's in there. Close it out and try again. Where are you, body shop? Where are you? Sometimes I have the hardest time trying to get it to load. Do you guys ever have that issue or is that just me? Okay, there it is. I'm going to end it. I'm going to try again. I'm going to delete caches and I'm going to try again. I really want to create Melba. I'm so excited. <laughs> Somebody had just commented the other day, you should make Melba playable. And I was like, oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll put Melba in, in Edgewood. You're always, yours always fights you too, Emily. Mine does too. I always have the hardest try time trying to get it to start up. I know, yeah. It's good for my European viewers. And then the evening streams are good for my US viewers. So I have to do both. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do, Christina. Yeah, I want to I wanna get buyable potions. And just so I can just put them on the shelves. I'm still trying to open up Body Shop, y'all. And when it does open, it, it'll freaking take forever, too. Let's see. Where are you? Where are you, Body Shop? Because I have a whole bunch of custom content. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Finally. <laughs> it makes you wake up at a human hour. <laughs> I've been sleeping in later than I used to recently um, because now that Mr. Pleasant works like the evening shift, we've been staying up later at night and I've been sleeping in later. So I'm like, man, my ten I'm get it's getting hard for me to get up for those 10 o'clock streams. <laughs> All right, here it comes. And then I've got the generators over here too. So let me go ahead and move this, move this out of the way so we can get it all set up here. Wait, is that the right one? No, that's number two. Here's number one. And we're going to create ourselves a Melba. <laughs> I'm excited. And then, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to move her into. I'm going to have to build her some kind of little house. I don't think she would be, like, really rich or anything. I don't think she's going to make a killing selling her potions. Also, I'll be interested to see which Sims in town go in the store and purchase potions. Probably by the time we get back around, everybody's going to have a love potion. <laughs> I wonder what else she could sell. What else do you guys think that she could sell besides love potions? Do you have any ideas for that? Yeah, you never know with all these romance Sims. Yeah, she's definitely going to have some kind of little little shack out there in the on the outskirts. A boho cafe set? Ooh. I'll check that out, Marta. I love Around the Sims. I love um, all the stuff on the Around the Sims site. Okay, so let's build Sims. We're gonna... It's finally... Oh, hello. What the heck is that? Oh, those are my pollination technicians, I think. I was like, what is that? <laughs> I don't remember creating those. Those are my pollination technicians. Oh, that would be cool if there was a tarot card table. Oh, yeah. Maybe she could be part of the Anthony commune. Hmm. Ooh, I got to think about this. 
I gotta think about this. Okay, well, let's create her. So we're gonna start with a female sim. And okay, what, I don't know what kind of skin and everything to do. Let, and now I have to go look at my other spreadsheet and see what we still haven't done yet. So if we go back, I've got the same amount of skin one, two, three, and four. So I guess it's time to start over with skin one. So we'll start with the skin one and then let me see, let me write this down. Skin one. And then let me see what eyes do I have with skin one. Brown, light blue, dark blue, green, gray, green. Okay, so we can do not alien. I think we have two greens. I'm sorry, guys. I wasn't prepared to make another sim, so now I'm having to like go through and, and do the kind of planning that I would have normally done off the stream. So I have two greens with skin one. I have one gray. So we'll go ahead and do gray. And then hair. So skin one gray. I have brown hair. So we'll do um, black. We have a blonde, reds, blondes, blacks. So we have two blondes two blacks, two browns, so she'll be red. She'll be red. I'm trying to get a combination that I don't already have in town. Make her an alien. <laughs> well, I want an, I want aliens in Edgewood, but I we're gonna have to get them the old fashioned way. Getting our Sims abducted and probed. <laughs> Hey, that's another way we could get babies in town, guys. We could have some of our some of our gay or straight sims get abducted. Some of our knowledge sims. Poison ivy potions. Oh. She's already cute. Yeah, I like that hair. That's a good hair. I wonder if we have anything a little bit more like wild and crazy. I don't want to give her uh I don't want to give her Gabriel's hair. But you know what I mean? Like something a little more kind of wild that doesn't look like it was so neatly styled. <laughs> Ooh, how about this hair? That's a long, I feel like that's probably gonna give us a bunch of clipping though. That one's cute too. I don't know, I have a hard time choosing. Ooh, I like that one. God, I'm never going to be able to choose. <laughs> I usually roll randomly, but since we kind of know what we're going for for this sim. Um, oh, that one's really long. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wild and long, too. I just, I have several long styles. I don't know which one I want to choose. None of these are long. I wish you could sort by length like you can in The Sims 4. The wavy one, you guys think the wavy one? Okay, I'm just gonna look at all my long hairs. Ooh, I like this one. I like this one. What do you guys think about that one? I don't know if it's gonna cause issues on the clothing or not. That other wavy one? The one that was only down the back and wavy? Okay, you guys like that one? We'll go with that one. Let's see, where is it? Where did it go? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Kotnajo? This one. Is that what you guys are thinking? Is that the right one? I passed it. No, this one? Or... This one? Oh, this one. Is it this one? <laughs> I don't remember which one it was. It's on the bottom row. Oh, this 
one. Oh, this one. This one. This is the one you guys are talking about. This one. This one. <laughs> hey, Brandwin. Um, I've been streaming for like over two, two and a half hours. <laughs> This one, I don't know. I kind of like the other one better. Hold on. Okay, so it's between this one and I like this one better. I like this one better. I think I'm going to go with this one. Okay, I'm going to go with this one. I like this one better. It's a compromise. <laughs> I know you guys are over there. Yes, that one. No, not that one. <laughs> Okay, so let's go and do her face now. Oh, not the modifier. We want to do the face. Oh, sorry, Bradwin. <laughs> okay, so let's roll face. Right? I haven't done this since... I haven't made a sim in so long. Are we doing modifiers? Are we doing face? Okay, we're doing... No, we're doing modifiers. Okay, jeez. I haven't... I can't even think of the last time I made a sim been a long time okay so we're gonna do face gaunt plump all right so i'm just gonna go through these real quick one two three four five one two one two three one two three four one two one two three four five one two three eight we have they haven't been very extreme so far two three okay let's go with the brow <laughs> I couldn't remember like what I was doing. One, two, three, four, negative nine, negative seven, negative eight, eight, four, negative four. Okay. Well, look at those brows. <laughs> she looks very surprised. <laughs> Hey, Miles, welcome. Glad you could join us for a bit. We are creating Melba for anybody who has just joined. We are creating our very own playable Melba for Edgewood. <laughs> okay, so eyes. Let's do the eyes here. Zero, negative nine, negative seven, four, negative two, ten, negative six, Eight, seven, and negative two. Oh boy. Oh boy, she looks like a cartoon character with those eyes. <laughs> yeah, she's she's something. <laughs> those are some close eyes. <laughs> they are very close together. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, zero, ten. One, seven, negative nine, nine, negative two, negative one, negative eight, and four. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at that nose. Oh, Lord. She looks like if a pig and a bug had a baby. <laughs> A pig and a fly. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> She's a creature. Okay, let's do the mouth now. One, two. This is always so fun to me because I love to see when you start fixing their face, like how they, how, you know, good they usually end up looking. Negative 10, 10. One, two, three. Negative one, zero. Negative two. One, two, three, four. All right, well, that, that's not, I mean, it's this part of the face that's really bad. <laughs> She's going to have a really cute nose and eyes. You know she is. Usually I found like the more messed up a feature looks during this part of the process, the cuter it ends up looking when we're done. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, negative nine, zero, negative six, negative eight. So we're getting some extreme numbers now. Negative 10 and 2. Or no, negative 2. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at that underbite. Is that an underbite? Overbite. That's an overbite. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Lord have mercy. That is, that might, this might be one of the ugliest ones we've ever made. Okay, so now we're going to fix her. So if you haven't ever seen this process, this is not what our sim is going to look like. Okay, this is just what we're starting off with. So we're going to go use the second generator here. And we have 24, 28 face templates to use. Okay, we're going to start with face one. Okay, all right. She's already starting to look better. <laughs> She's perfect. Leave her like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, guys. I cannot leave her like that. You know I can't. Okay, and 10. Okay, see? See? She's already starting to look cute. Okay, so we're going to go to brow. We're going to do number 5. And 15. So 4, 8, 12, 15. Okay, much better on the brow. Much better. <laughs> Eyes, 28. So the very last one. Oh no, alien eyes. Oh no. <laughs> She's got big old eyes. She's got big old bug eyes. And maybe number 19 can fix it. 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, that helps. That helps. She has a little bit of alien DNA, y'all. She's got a, just a little bit. She had an alien ancestor somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. Okay, so let's do nose, um, 11, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 15. Okay, oh my gosh, she's looking cute. She's looking cute. <laughs> okay, and mouth. I can't wait to get an alien. I cannot wait to get an alien in Edgewood. Who's our next knowledge sim? That's what I need to know. I gotta look and see who our next knowledge sim is that could possibly have an alien baby. Okay, mouth, 17. 4, 8, 12, 16, 17. And 28. Oh my God, she's got more alien DNA, y'all. She must be like a quarter alien. She has a little bit alien eyes and a little bit alien mouth. Oh, yeah, she's getting freckles for sure. Red hair and uh, skin one always gets freckles in my game. Yeah. And jaw 14. 4, 8, 12, 13, 14. And 11. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. I wish I could give her alien DNA. I think I could give her alien DNA somehow. Like how Dina has alien, Dina and Nina have alien DNA in Pleasant View. I wonder if we could give her alien DNA like that in Sim PE. She's part alien, yeah. Yeah, she's part alien. You think we should give her alien eyes? Let me see how it. Let me see how it looks. Hmm. Hmm. I can give them recessive alien skin and eyes. That's what I need to do. Or I guess she'll have, I guess she'll have regular alien eyes and recessive alien skin is what I should give her. Okay, hold on. Um, let me write down Melba. We need, I need to give her, whenever I go into SimPE and start doing everybody's ages, I can just give her recessive alien skin while we're in there. Right? She's part alien. What do you guys think about the what do you guys think about the eyes? Should I just give her the recessive alien eyes and let her keep the human eyes now? What do you what do you guys think? I wish I wish uh, YouTube would let me do a poll in the chat like Twitch does. Yeah, she can tell fortunes and sell love potions because she has special abilities that just completely human sims don't have. You guys like the alien eyes? Definitely nobody in town has alien eyes. <laughs> I don't know which one I should do. Okay, so here's the human eyes again. 
alien human. Hmm. Okay, here, let me, I'm going to do a poll for everybody who's in here. Um, let me go to my poll thingy. My poll website. Okay, my question is alien eyes or regular eyes? I don't want to say human because they're not actually human. So alien. And then you guys can vote. This is, it'll be anonymous. So just tell me which one you really like the best. Alien or regular? I'm going to create the poll. And I'm going to share the link with you. Okay, here we go. Okay, here's the poll link. So click on that and vote. I'll give you guys a minute. And then I'll see what you guys want me to do. You think that alien eye looks cool with the human skin? Yeah, we. C I think I would definitely try to give her some glasses. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, okay, and while you guys are voting on that, I am going to uh, give her some freckles. Can I give her freckles in here? Yeah. I like the freckles. Maybe not too many. Just a little around the eyes and nose like that. Let me see. Not too many because she does have alien genes, so I don't want to give her... Let's see. Yeah, I like that little little smattering around the eyes and nose. She's a hippie alien, yes. <laughs> okay, let me uh let me see what you guys have voted here. Okay, we got 66% of you guys want her to have alien eyes. And only 33% want regular. Did everybody get a chance to vote? Who wanted to vote? Let me know if you haven't. But if you have, if everybody has voted who wanted to, then I'm going to go with the alien eyes. Because um, I could go either way. So, all right. So here she is. <laughs> here she is. You're, you're surprised people like freckles because you have really dark ones and, and you get called dirty. What? I love freckles. Now, I have freckles, too, across my face right here. But you can't really see them because I wear powder on for the stream. Um, but I do have freckles right across my face right here. They're not very dark. Okay. Um, okay, good. I think everybody vote. Yeah, even if one person didn't vote, it wouldn't be enough to sway. Okay, so this is, this is what we've got right now in her face. Did we finish her face? Yeah, we did. She's so cute, y'all. <laughs> I like her so much. Okay, so her eyebrows. I'm actually fine with those brows she has, I think. Does she have one of the default brows? Yeah. I want to give her not one of the default brows. No. Ooh, I like those. I like those. They're very shapely. <laughs> We could do secondary knowledge. Yeah, we could do secondary knowledge if it works out like that. This is going to, she's going to be the best Melba ever. So let's give her a little bit of makeup. Oh, no, that's way too dark. A little bit of makeup, not too much. Not too much. Very light. Let me see about eyeshadow. I think, I don't know if I want to give her glasses or something. We'll see. Let me see what kind of glasses I have. Let's give her some eyelashes. Oh, no. Those, eyel <laughs> Those eyelashes do not look good on her alien eyes. <laughs> uh, maybe these. It's hard to tell. You know what? I'm not going to give her eyelashes right now. I'm going to wait till we get her in Creative Sim because I just can't get close enough to see. That's true. She could get abducted if she was primary. But we also need a Romance Sim. So I don't know. Let's give her a little lipstick. Ooh, I like that on her. I like the red on her. That's a little dark. 
I don't know. I like this. I like this better. That's cute. Okay, now let me see what we have. Let me see what kind of glasses we have. I don't even know what all this stuff is. Knowledge with secondary romance and she, that's true she would get the romance ones, but the reason why I want her to be primary romance is so she has a chance to give up her babies to the orphanage. <laughs> Cause if she's, if I'll, I only do that for my primary romance. Yeah, and that's true. She would, and she will probably have some babies that have green skin if we give her the recessive too. You gotta think about that. <laughs> Maybe Anthony will want them. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna let Anthony adopt. Okay, I don't know if I like giving her sunglasses or not. Maybe she should just be proud of her alien heritage. That's really the only sunglasses we have besides these awful goggles or whatever. I'm not giving her goggles. <laughs> what do you guys think about the sunglasses? Or we could do something like this. We could do something like that where it's not quite sunglasses, but it kind of like tries to hide. What do you think about that? You think she should be Anthony's second wife? <laughs> You like the red ones? The red ones do look cute, don't they, with her hair? She'd be a secret agent with sunglasses. I kind of like these. Like, they kind of hide it, but not too much. Yeah, the glasses that turn into sunglasses in the sun. That's what these look like. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go with that. Let's choose some clothing for her. So this outfit is not going to do it. We got to get her a hippie outfit. We got to get her a hippie outfit. So I think I have that, like the bohemian dress. Now something like this would also be cute. But let me just check and see if I have like, I think I have something that looks a little more, a little more bohemian than that. <laughs> Anthony only lets women with black hair join his cult. <laughs> I kind of want her to be on her own. I kind of do. Although she could live in the commune. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do about that. Maybe we'll vote. I'll think about it. Okay, let's see. I think I have, I think I have some of those recolors. Or maybe I don't have the Y, oh, I don't have, think I have the Y Sim recolors. I don't think I downloaded those because I was like, oh, I already have enough colors. <laughs> I like this outfit on her, but I'm thinking of another outfit. We can choose between them, but there's, I know I have another one that's kind of like the Melba outfit. I hope it's for adults, though. It may only be for young adults. Yeah, that's true. She could just live there. But then I, we wouldn't... We wouldn't be able to create her little shack. <laughs> I don't want to create a little shack for her. Oh, there's this outfit. There's this one. It's winter time right now, too. Although it's not going to be winter. Yeah, it'll be winter for her. No, it'll be fall for her. There's this one, and so there's two colors of it. I kind of like the brown and blue. But I still, I swear there was another one. Oh, this one, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for, guys. What do you guys think? This, is, this one I think is perfect. So we've got red, purple, pinkish, white and black yeah the sunglasses do seem off with this outfit i agree with you what color should we do though red purple i don't think purple hmm 
I, I think I like the red one the best. I think I like the red one the best. You think the pinkish one? Pink or red? Yeah, I guess I could roll for it. I could roll for it. One, two, three, four. We have five. We have five uh, choices. Let's roll for it. Yes, one. I rolled red. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's take the glasses off. Let's just let her be proud of her alien heritage, okay? Here she is. What do you guys think of Melba? Melba Cleo love. <laughs> I love it. I love it. She's not afraid. She's not afraid to be who she is. Although I think she will be kind of shunned like Anthony and Christina. <laughs> Where I'm going to put her a little shack over there kind of by the commune. Maybe she'll be good friends with them at the commune. Like she buys into all the woo-woo kind of commune stuff. But she doesn't actually live there with them. And she wants to have her own thing going on. Like, I don't think she would give up that much control. She wants to have her own... Uh, she wants to be in control of her own love life, number one. And number two, she wants to have her little store well, where she sells her potions. Okay, so here she is. And we're going to go ahead and accept her. Come on, hurry up. And we're going to package her up. Is, do we have to package her up? Oh, no, we don't have to package her up. She's good. So I guess we're done. I guess we're done. Um, let's go ahead and exit. I think, right? She's going to show up in my game now, I'm pretty sure. I think that's all I have to do. Maybe she wears her glasses when she's selling stuff. <laughs> and when she wants to go incognito. Okay, how long is this going to take to close? My God. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to start the game back up. <laughs> and we're done with that. We're going to start the game back up. Get in there. And let me see. I might have to delete my cache files again. Or cache. I'm sorry. I say cache. People always say, you know, it's cash. And like, yeah, I know. I know it is. But that's just what I say. <laughs> that's just what I, that's just how it looks to me. I can't make myself stop mispronouncing it. I'm sorry. Sorry, but I'm not really sorry. Okay, game starting up. There we go. Gotta drink some more water. I'm feeling like I haven't had any pain, so I'm feeling a lot better. I guess my kidney stone has migrated to a non-painful place. <laughs> That's how I, I know it, that that's not the right way to say it, but I still say it that way. I have like, there's like a couple of words like that for me that just like, even though I know I'm saying it wrong, I can't make myself stop. <laughs> I'm just so used to it. I catch myself sometimes, but. Well, good. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. <laughs> Oh my god, it's gonna take like seven minutes literally for my game. I think it takes like seven, six and a half, seven minutes for my game to load. So let's chat. Let's chat while we wait. <laughs> I wanna see, you know what? We can look for some custom content while we're waiting on the game to load. Let's see. Sims 2 CC Bohemian. Let's see what we can find. You guys wanna look at some custom content while we wait? Caché in French means hidden. Maybe that's what it is. I can't say spaghetti right because of Tim and Eric. Yeah, I, every time I say it, I say spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti. Okay, Sims 2 Boho. Okay, this is a bunch of Pinterest stuff. Where can I find Bohemian anything? Okay, that look, looks like a good source. Um, trailer park for hippies. Oh, let's check that out. Nope, that's gone. That's long gone. Indies, India style furniture. 
some of the stuff might not be here anymore. Oh, did I see the CC that you made? Which one, Marta? The most recent one? I saw you made some dresses. Or you made some recolors? I don't know what you made. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up. Okay, I don't think this is... This is good. Bathroom and kitchen. Here's some mods of Sims 2 stuff. Okay, these links are bad. These links are bad. Nothing's working. <laughs> <laughs> that must be an old thread. Here's one from 2000. Oh, yeah, that's from 2009. 2018, hippie witch gypsy stuff. Let's see. Sims resource. Mm, that's not really what I'm going for, although that's kind of cute. But that's kind of like, I don't know, that could work. I don't know. Um, let's look at this. Oh, wow. Now that's some boho stuff right there. <laughs> that's some brightly colored. Oh, that's the Sims 3. Am I looking at Sims 3 stuff? Yes. I'm on a Sims 3 thread. Okay, never mind. <laughs> let's go back to Edgewood. I still need to get a picture. Um, for my thumbnail there. Let's see. Oh, what were you saying at Around the Sims? Oh, never mind. We're back in. We're back in. Forget it. I'll look for stuff later. <laughs> so let's go to create a Sim. And let's create Melba Cleo Love. <laughs> yeah, that's more witch. That's what I was thinking too. And I don't, she's not really a witch. We might eventually have a witch in town, but she's more like the alien love potion dealer. <laughs> she's a hippie, but not necessarily a witch. I've seen the caravan build set. I've seen that. Uh, I think Jessa uses that in her neighborhood. I don't know if I want to use it or not. Hmm. I'll have to look at it and see. Um, no, I have the terrain that I used to use pixel that I created. My Edgewood terrain is on my website, but now the new terrain I'm using is called Channel Wood and it's on Mod The Sims. If you're just talking about like the empty terrain. If you're talking about like the buildings and everything, no, I don't. But all of the ones I'm using, all the houses I'm using are from Honeywell's Bespoke set. And the community lots that I've built myself, I have not made those available anywhere. You downloaded a carefree caravan already built? Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea to build, uh, buy it. Blah, blah, blah. Downloaded already built. I'll look into some stuff and see what we want to do by the time we get to Melba. Um, I definitely want her to have like a like a real hippie boho kind of thing on the edge of town in the woods that you have to really go out of your way to get there and buy the these potions. <laughs> you want to do an integrated world? It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. I just see my integrated neighborhood as a very long term project that I'll probably be working on for years, but it's it's really a lot of fun. Um, let's see. Oh, love. It's like, it's definitely my long-term Sims project. Okay, female. And let's go to existing Sims. And here she is. Here she is. Oh, she looks so cute. Y'all look at her. Okay, I wanted to see about giving her some... Eyeshadow. Oh, now we can really see her face. I want to see about giving her some eye sh or eyelashes. But see, you got to be these eyes. Like you got to be really choosy because some of these just don't don't fit these uh, her eyes. These fit better, even though these are my male lashes.
No, there's a white. I don't know why there's a white. Oh, there you go. Sorry. I had it on display capture instead of game capture. Okay, I think I'm going to give her the male lashes. There. I think that looks the best. <laughs> yeah, the male ones. Okay, so she's pretty much good. Now we just need to do the rest of her outfits. So this is obviously going to be her every day. And let's see. Oh, that's kind of a cute formal for her too, actually. <laughs> I kind of like that on her. But let me see if we have anything that looks more boho. Mm. I think I might just keep her in this red dress. She's probably not going to have to dress up formally very often. Red is definitely her color. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. I'm just gonna scroll through here real quick and see if we have anything better but so far I haven't seen anything I like more than this if she's gonna get dressed up oh wait maybe something maybe something like that how about that if she gets dressed up I like that on her it looks a little funky you know I think I'll let her wear that. That means if she gets married, that's what she's gonna wear to get married in. <laughs> or this. Nah, I like this one better. This one's funkier. <laughs> and I don't see very many Sims that I could use this dress on, to be honest. <laughs> I, sometimes I just wanna use my dresses that I don't, I can't, I don't have very many Sims to use them on. I don't know if I like the square thing here, but um, let me just keep looking really quick. Oh my goodness. Definitely not that one. <laughs> Definitely not that. Um, now let me see, what was the other one I had? This one. Hmm, this one or this one? Now I can't decide. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I think it just looks fancier. Especially when she, if she gets, well, she probably won't get married, honestly. So yeah, I think I'll get, I think I'll just let her keep this one. Okay, let's go with undies. Just get her some red undies. Um, sleepwear. Let's find like a red shirt or something. And she's a romance, Sam. We need to give her something a little sexier. <laughs> We'll give her that. This is cute too. Oh, I like this better. I'm gonna give her that. Okay, and then swimsuit. I like that, I'm gonna give her that one. And then for her athletic. I mean, it doesn't really matter. She's not gonna be working out too much. That'll be fine. And for her outerwear. Let's see, what should we give her? Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. I like that for her. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Or maybe this. I don't know. I don't really have any outerwear that looks really boho here so we're just gonna have to choose something i'll just give her this that's fine okay she's ready to go now she's ready to go we just have to do her personality so obviously we want her to be a romance sim so let me see what we already have oh thanks marta thank you and let me see what we already have as far as our signs. So we have, for our romance sims, we have one Libra, one Taurus, one Libra, one Taurus. So I guess we're back to Libra. <laughs> we're gonna make her a Libra. Where are you, Libra? Right there. Okay, and let me see if I can 
just switch things up a little bit so she doesn't have the default personality. You know what I mean? She's definitely going to be very nice. I d actually do think she's going to be quite outgoing. I don't think she'll be that lazy. I don't think she'll be that lazy, though. Maybe a little less playful, a little more neat. Okay, that's good enough. So she's got three neat, seven outgoing, three active, five playful, and seven nice. So she's very nice and outgoing. That's going to help her to sell her potions and get some love in her life. <laughs> and then let's do turn-ons and turn-offs. Okay, I'm going to roll for these. So at first, I'm going to roll for a hair color. So I'm going to roll one through four. And I rolled a four, so she actually likes black hair, which is really good for us because most of our Sims like red hair. I swear, like everybody likes red. Isn't it red hair that everybody likes? I don't know, but she likes black hair. And then, um, oh, the lazy animation. You mean where they hunch over like the Dina, the Dina hunch? <laughs> And then now I'm going to choose just one of the others. So I'm going to roll one through 33, I believe. And I got three. She likes fat. <laughs> she likes a big, she likes a larger uh, sim man. <laughs> I like that. I don't know why she likes that, but she does. Okay, and then let's do a turn off. Let's see. One. She doesn't like cologne. <laughs> She's like, keep your cologne out of here. I think I'll have her sell cologne too. Why not? She should sell cologne. She says she should sell everything that that's for like love and romance. Athena is fat. That's true. <laughs> but she's going to be gay. Yeah, she's going to be gay. And Athena's not, unfortunately. And we don't have any. Oh, Paige is fat, y'all. Paige is bisexual and Paige is fat. And Paige has black hair. Oh, <gasps> Paige has black hair and is fat. She, oh, I can already see it now. She's going to have a thing with Paige. Yep. <laughs> Paige is who is, who is going to be for her. They are meant to be. She totally just rolled this on her own. <laughs> yeah, they're totally going to click together. I love it. I love it. Paige and Melba, yes. <laughs> and they're both romance too. Yes, they're both romance. So I can see them having a very long-term relationship. Um, there aren't any other gay female Sims. So it is pretty much, it has to be these two. It has to, which is kind of sad because if they want, you know, to have more than one love, there's nobody else out there for them right now. So... This is just how it is for the moment. <laughs> but the, hey, they, they at least they can be together. At least they'll have each other. Okay, so let's go ahead and accept her. And I don't remember what Paige's turn-ons are. Hold on, let me go look. Paige likes, please be red hair. No, Paige likes black hair and facial hair. <laughs> Faceless black hair and facial hair. Okay, well, that's unfortunately not uh, Melba here, but that's okay. I think they'll still have some chemistry together, especially because they're both romance sims. Usually two romance sims have good chemistry anyway. Okay, so let's accept her. And I guess I'm not going to move her in yet, y'all. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to... Oh, her hair disappeared. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> I hope she still has her hair. Um, I'm going to have to set her money and everything like that, so I'm not going to move her in yet. But she's here, she exists, and I will be creating a lot for her. I think I'll probably move her down here, um, across from the commune. I will put a little shack for her down there. Okay, wow. So, yeah, I guess we're pretty much done with the stream now, guys. It's 1.03. So thank you so much for joining me for today's members only stream. I'm sorry we didn't get a baby. I was really hoping that uh, Athena would give us a baby, give us a scandal, but she didn't and that's okay. Um, she did make some connections with Brian and with Gabriel. So there's some possibility for the future for the next round, next time we get around to her. 
Now, in our next uh, members only stream, we are going to be playing. Who did I say? Oh, Melanie. We're going to be playing Melanie, who is our teacher. And we will be moving her in to the townhouses here. She's going to live in this third townhouse here. And also, I will have the school done by then. So I'm going to redo the school and make us a nice school. Now, it's possible I might do a playable school in the future, but I probably will not start with that. But I do want to have a school in town. Um, and so, yeah, then we'll play Melanie. Melanie is a knowledge sim. Yes, she is a knowledge sim. That means she could possibly get alien pregnant. She could. She could. She likes red hair and pet lovers. And she, she is, uh, her hobby is science. Her hobby is science. It's perfect. Maybe she could get, um, she could stargaze and we might have ourselves an alien baby. What do you know? <laughs> yeah, we'll get a baby next time. We'll get, a, I'm confident we will. Okay, Marta, let me know if you can, if you can figure out how to fix it. She would, she would like Melba. Maybe she and Melba can be friends. Yeah. And I want to get Melba a little shack going on too. So I'm going to see what kind of custom content I can find, get her a little house to move her in. So at least she's in the neighborhood and can interact with our other Sims and start making uh, relationships. Melba could be her mentor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we will have to create some. Yeah. Cause she's the teacher, but we have no children. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we should skip over Melanie. No, we can't. We have no children, y'all. We might have to create some orphanage children. Okay, let me think on that. Let me let me think on that. Yes, my female Sims can get pregnant by aliens. Yes. Yes. I have equal... Uh, I have a mod. I'm pretty sure I have a mod. Don't I have a mod for that? I'm like 99% sure I have a mod for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so i will see you all in two weeks i'm gonna be putting out my november schedule soon um so in november we are gonna have guess what we are gonna have no we're only gonna have two never mind i thought we we're gonna have three streams but we're only gonna have two so we're gonna have a stream on november 8th and then another stream on november 22nd um so i hope you guys can join me for those i'm trying to see when the next month we're gonna have three streams is January. In January, we're going to have three member streams because there's five Sundays. But anyway, like I said, I'll put out my schedule soon and I'll see you guys in two weeks um, where we'll be playing Melanie. We'll, we'll see what's going to happen. I'll think about if I want to add some children or how I want to go about doing that. Yeah, I'll just think about that. So everybody have a great rest of your weekend. And I've got a video coming out later today too. Um, I'm going to go start working on editing and getting that uploaded. So I'll have a video out in a couple hours. All right. <laughs> and I will post the, I'm going to post my schedule everywhere. I'll post it in the Discord. I'll post it in the sub only channels. I'll post it on YouTube. So I'll try to make it very, I'll try to get it out there to you guys. All right, guys, have a great weekend. Like I said, I'll see you in the Discord. I'll see you all very soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Oh, and also, if you're watching this back on YouTube and you would like to join us for these members-only streams, click the little join button down below and get more information on that. If you join at the live simmer level or above, then you, you will get invited to these streams with us. All right, that's it. That's it. I'm done. Bye, everybody. <laughs>